your content isn't even art, Jim. Your content isn't even artistic. You were picking on a guy weaker than you, weren't you, Jim? I might say it's because you're a loser who's playing to an audience of children. I'd like to join your posse, boys, but first I'm going to sing a little song. <laughs> <laughs> You have a bully cabal that you have created a bully to attack cabal. me. <laughs> <laughs> Outer heaven of what would you call it? What else would you call it? Uh, I'd call it the sweetest lie that we spread to hug and love across the internet. Bullshit, you know that's not true. You know what you do. What am I, name the bully. No. Name the bully for a <laughs> Bully Hunter will help you. You, you don't want to build a wall. Instead, you want to use you want to use a military approach and run sorties over drug cartels. Sure, and work with Mexico to rebuild its country. Yeah, sure. If we're going to invest money into something, why not in making Mexico better so that a bunch of fucking people don't run away from that country into ours? Okay. <laughs> that's brilliant. This is like the ultimate condescending argument from somebody that's never have ever been in a shitty position in their entire life. Like I can't even believe that somebody. The fuck you're talking I about. don't. You can't. You can't either that or you lack zero empathy or have zero intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not part of your lying, doxing, harassing teenage fan club. I'm someone doing something in real life. And I have an army of mercenary children wreaking havoc on web forums from here to hell and back. You understand I'm a person, don't you? <laughs> you think white people act like this? White people are meant to be polite and respectful to one another, and you guys can't even act like white people. It's really, like, amazing to me. Jim, it's people like you that need to get a bullet to the head. Because you're promoting hatred, bigotry. Oh, oh, oh. So it's bigotry oh, against pedophiles. Pedophobia. It's pedophobia. Your low rent, low IQ trash. I was 100% right to call you a religious bigot. It's what you and your fans are. But as a white person who is male, you're never told that there's anything you can do. You have no idea what it's like to be told you're not supposed to do that. That's not the kind of job for you because the sky is the fucking limit. <laughs> What I was saying was that there's this YouTuber that I admire very much, that um, I used to admire, but I realized that his game is to punch down. But he always mocks people who are weak, who are small. I can't stand the big guy who bullies me, or tries to bully me. There is a toxicity that has developed in among gamers. Okay. All right? It is actually, it feels somewhat fascist in the way it's working that's amazing <laughs> Could have got that. the haters on youtube are on the verge of flooding with hate comments this got that this got that must wake up this got that must fight down this got that this got that this got that Kiwi Farms. Gas is a got that. 
mod, first of all, basically a mod. Basically a mod, a mod, a mod, basically. And the mod, first of all, basically a mod, I have to say is that a mod. I don't know, first of all a mod, how come, like, a mod? Yeah, sorry, I'm with autism, I don't know how to use words that well. My dad is not a fucking dwarf. Isn't that neat? Charlie Hunter 77 has joined the game. Call 911. This place needs to be swatted. It's obnoxious. You have a bully head bang. You don't find people being bullied into suicide on 4chan. I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, if he says any more bad words, I'm gonna hang up on him. He doesn't own Key Farm, and he died last night. A little kid named Moon owns Kiwi Farm. How do they make this more and more epic every time? We're gonna find ourselves. I'm sorry, I'm a soy filled bitch with like videos. Hey, hey, hey! If we get Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, you know, just a tweet that mentions the hashtag game again. It, it, it doesn't even have to be about how we use it. Man, the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking hats. It's 2019, I can't believe anybody believes that. I'm a spinning fucking ball of water. True. Especially when Jim finds out, he's gonna just give me so much shit. One never knows when the homosexual is about. I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life. 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. I aim as low as possible. I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese. I would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl. I said it's not even You are not allowed to bring her to the hospital. No. No, you can get no permission to fucking do it. You gotta be kidding. It's, it's just like this declaration. This declaration, right, of male dominance. Now put that in your pipe. I definitely cheated on Super Mario with Sonic the Hedgehog. Stop doing this stuff! He's like the blue uh, seductress who takes me out into the night and does wonderful things to me. Enough! Stop! How can a Yorkshire Terrier live in the wild? <laughs> it's in plain sight. But you just don't see it. You know what I mean? Oh my god, they're snorting up a storm there. How how are we doing, chat? I know this is this is a little weird. I'd heard some medical reports from Dr. Ethan Ralph, that uh, I was unable to speak, that my, my voice had fled from me, it, it disappeared. He checked with his head nurse, King of Pole, and of course, uh, cancer specialist, Mersh, and they'd all gotten together and had a little powwow. Can, can Jim talk anymore? Of course not. This is actually an AI program that's been, that's been put to use by Jade 
to sell hats to you. It's all one big scam. Jim's been dead for a while now. And the robot's in charge. Oh, it's been a little while. It's been a little while, chat. It's been a little while since I've been around. It's been about eight months. It took me a while to go get that milk and those cigarettes. What have you been doing, Jim? <laughs> Where have you gone? Well, we last left off with my Truman Show exit. I was, you know, pretty, pretty clear uh, that I was uh, going to die. You know, had everything set up. I was looking, looking, uh, I, I, what would you say, resolute? Resigned to the fact of it? You know, pretty much had everything planned out and been enjoying my time shit posting occasionally on social media. You know, watching anime, playing video games, reading manga, doing the man baby shit that us chuds like to do so much. Oh, my manga. I love my manga so much. But of course, but of course, things just have to take a, a topsy turvy little twisty ride and uh, escalate a bit. So I had to come back for a little while. I'm now special needs chat. Can, can we can we refer to me as special needs Jim? Jim? Special needs Jim. I like it. It has a nice little a little flair to it. I can even use the R word now, I think. I'm permitted to do that, as I'm now one of those people. But I'm dodging lightning bolts out here and thunder from the fucking heavens. Yahweh's up there throwing medical textbooks from second year med students at me. <laughs> just trying to survive, trying to do my little Jimmy dance. You know, I thought the cancer and all the uh, autoimmune stuff, that was fun. But God was like, you know, I think you've had it too. He's been watching too much anime, Jim. We need to mix it up a little bit. You're, you're a little too relaxed uh, about dying. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's fuck with you some more. Of course, I have all our medical experts to to weigh in on this we'll take a look at some of their um <laughs> their brilliant thoughts on this of course i'm talking about the uh, team again of ethan ralph king of pole mersh and let's not forget uh specialist bibble either uh rest in peace bibble i guess bibble's disappeared i don't know where bibble's gone it's a little bit of a mystery i do a blues clues for bibble but i don't really give a shit not really looking forward to playing D D with bibble i don't think anybody is maybe that's why he slinked off but to catch you up, chat on why uh, Jim has crawled out of his fucking coffin for the uh, time being, it's to sell you beautiful fucking hats. We all love Jim's hats. Let me let me move a little pudding. Oh, over on Shopify, Medicare.myshopify.com, buy the finest hats available. Jimmy's going to need to install tarred rails in his house <laughs> because shit's got real. Shit got real, chat. It's one thing when you're when you're sick. It's another one. It just piles up. So what's Jim been up to aside from laughing at retards on the internet? Still, still doing that. Enjoying anime, video games, manga. Still doing that. Apparently capable of speech. I know that wow some people, Ralph. But yes, I can talk. It's amazing. Well, let me walk you through my little journey. Let let me take you through a little journey, chat. Because eventually, here, what I'm going to do is probably put up a video, maybe in like a a few weeks, and I'm going to try to crowdsource a diagnosis. Oh, it's far too late to really change anything, but at this point, I just kind of want to know what the fuck is going on. So let me walk you through it. Because I uh, happened to post this when Mersh was pissing his vagina blood all over Twitter for the umpteenth time. I'm not sure why. He's a little upset. Maybe he's not making enough on his uh, specialist pay at the hospital. <laughs> but I, I put up my uh, my conditions. Now, I could have done this like two years ago, three years ago, but it was funnier watching him get pissed off about it because for whatever reason, he's convinced I've been faking it. This is a long con, all part of my master plan of walking away from a lucrative streaming career for, you know, like a year at a time because I like to keep you waiting. That's always a, a really ingenious idea. It always works out well for everybody. But I'll, I'll expand on this in the video later on, but just to catch you up, just to catch you up, this is the this is what I was. Uh, oh, oh, and of course, it's too far down. Oh my God! Oh no! Terrible things are going badly. There we go. There's little Jimmy's health summary. Now that was that was fun enough. You know, you got lymphoma, Hashimoto's, hypertension, uh, vertebral artery dissection, pulmonary nodules. Gotta love that smoking. 
congenital spinal stenosis, uh, sensorineural hearing loss, IgG subclass deficiency, symptomatic uh, long-term steroid use, osteoporosis with current uh, pathological fractures. We'll get into that. Inflammatory arthritis and absence of sensation. I was like my own spooky Halloween special. So much fun going on with that. So you can see it's a it's a little bit of shit building up. Uh, that's why I stepped away. And I thought, okay, well, it's going to wipe me out. I'm going to just, uh, I'm just going to fuck off. I'm going to fuck off and uh, spend time with friends and family and not have to worry about it too much. But then, like I said, God was like, hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. <laughs> Think fast, champ. I know you like the cancer. How about some heart attacks, buddy? How about multiple fucking heart attacks? Jimmy boy. Jimmy boy. Jimmy, Jimmy Bojangles. Hat salesman of the internet. How about some massive fucking heart attacks? Oh, those were fun. Multiple fucking heart attacks. Can I, can I tell you how fun those are, by the way? Not a lot of people experience them. I really love sitting in an ER room when they come in to tell you, hey, you're having a heart attack. And then literally listen to the doctors go into the corner and talk, whispering to each other, which is not ever a whisper, and saying saying terms like uh, widow maker always always really just uh, really bumps you up, really makes you makes you have a super fun happy time. Poor little Jimmy's heart. I made this for Marsh because he was again pissing blood for no reason. Faking cancer was so fun. I decided to fake a heart attack too. Four out of five infarctions, pretty good. Pretty good. I had a lot of fun at the cath lab getting that, uh, getting those stents placed in. Now you might be wondering, what does little Jimmy's heart look like? I've got a, a fancy picture for you, chat. Let me let me share that with you. <clears throat> that would be uh, <laughs> that would be the spider web of my heart, and what looks like that little that little wrench there. I guess that's a stent, or one of the surgeons has a really funny sense of humor and left shit in there. I don't know. I can't tell. All I know is I got the BBC version of a stent. It's like a 48 millimeter Synergy. It's a big boy. There's another one you can't really see down in the left uh, lower corner in the RCA. So I got double stented. That was fun. That was two weeks of super fun times at the uh, multiple hospitals, multiple multiple stent procedures and angiograms. But again, you know, because God's got a very funny sense of humor. He's like, hey, hey, guy, hey, guy with the cancer and the heart attacks. Think fast, asshole. <laughs> Here's, let's break your back, too. Let's, uh, let's crack your back. Pretend I'm Bane and you're Batman, and I'm just going to knee the shit out of you. Oh, that's fun. Now, the tragedy of this isn't that my body is deteriorating at an exponentially fast speed as I sail my way into oblivion. No, no, the humor of this is that I'm going to die a manlet. Listen to that impression. New L3 superior end plate compression fraction with 15 to 25% loss of vertebral body height. God didn't think it was funny enough to smite me. He's going to make me a midget before he does. This is payback. This is payback for all the short jokes I've made. The unending fucking short jokes that I've made and all the poor little manlets out there. So God has literally broken my back. And now little Jimmy is going to need a mechanized suit to take a shit. Little Jimmy's going to have to put railings up everywhere. You know, that's part of life, though. What can you do? Unexpected things happen. You plan out the best you can. And I did. I planned out, I thought, exceptionally well. Little Jimmy's, little Jimmy's going to the uh, the pine box in the dirt. Got my fares in order, had everything set up, everything was smooth sailing. Just going to watch my little anime, play my little video games, and just fade away as I shitpost on social media occasionally, enjoy myself a little bit, and then here's some multiple heart attacks and a broken back. There's other shit with uh, fractured ribs. It's been a lot of fun, let me tell you. Uh, I can highly rate the differences now between narcotics at the very least because they've been loading me up with goofballs like you wouldn't believe oh i am fucked up so i guess that's that's a trade-off we're going to explode your heart and shatter your back 
but here's some really fun drugs to enjoy. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You have to love it, folks. Where, where can we go from here? I don't think there's a body part or symptom at this point uh, that hasn't been literally anally fucked into the dirt for me. That's, that's cancer, autoimmunes, uh, <laughs> IgG, deficiency, loss of hearing, eyesight, fractured ribs. I got fucking kidney stones, broken back, heart attacks. And yet I'm still here. I'm still here. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's my affable personality or lovely sense of humor. It does put some things into perspective. Now, I was going to actually jump from this point right into talking about Ethan Ralph's edgy poetry. But Knitter won't load for me. We will play it later. But it did put some things into perspective. It'll make more sense when I play the clip. But it's funny to me that Ralph is all, um, I don't know, in a very depressed mood right now, writing really edgy Tumblr poetry <laughs> about insignificant shit. And I am literally dodging thunderbolts from the heavens, Ralph. Maybe, <laughs> maybe turn that frown upside down. Now, there's been there's been a lot of things that have happened since Jimmy was on last time. We had a lot of fun things happen almost immediately after the last stream. I, I'll catch up. We'll do a little catch up. A little bit of a, a sector recap chat on what's been going on. What's been happening in the sector, as they like to call it. Well, firstly, there were the hacks. Now, I... Uh, <laughs> time to come clean with the chat. Time to be real with you about things. All those good friends that I told you I had on Twitter, those were actually my accounts. <laughs> and I got banned. I got shit kicked off of Twitter. So I had to go looking for other social media. Where am I going to post? Well, I went over to the Fediverse. And I joined up with two different instances. One was Chudbuds and one was Post. Now immediately, Chudbuds started getting fucked with. Now, ChatBuds was just a, a kind of a Twitter clone run by somebody named Claire, who's uh, disappeared from the internet, not because they were hacked, but because they're horribly embarrassed by the fact that they got hacked through a Minecraft mod. <laughs> how do you, how does that happen? How do you get compromised by a Minecraft mod? I don't know. But uh, the instance got hacked. And you know what they found? As they dug through all the private messages, this was the treasure trove of the master hacking that went on at Chud Buds. Uh, jack shit? You know, it's funny to me. I think people were expecting that they were going to see uh, many gay ops in my DMs, in my private messages, and instead, all they ended up finding was me talking to people, uh, saying, hey, how are you doing? Or just not responding to anyone. Or talking about inane bullshit about video games or anime. Shocking. Now, everybody else apparently was part of super secretive groups running ops against one another. Ops upon ops upon ops. But your boy Jimmy Bojangles not doing that shit. His hands are clean. Of course, Chud Buds wasn't the only one that suffered a hack. Uh, Post got hit as well. Same thing happened. DMs get released and what do you see? Nothing. <laughs> the only thing that was found in my private messages after all these hacking attempts to find something of interest was me laughing about the thought of Nick Fuentes getting ass-fucked by Ronald McDonald. Devastating. <laughs> Truly fucking devastating, chat. Now, Chud Buds is gone. The Fediverse instance doesn't exist anymore. The post is still alive and kicking, and that's where I shit post primarily. I mean, I can't even look at Twitter anymore. I don't know what Elon's doing. Gotta give the guy a hand job and about 50 bucks just to be able to shit post a little over there. Then having to use Knitter which is like some, some weird black ops approach to reading Twitter posts. <laughs> it's some fucking convoluted way of getting around Elon's desperation to make you pay $48 so you can uh, not get, um, what do they call it when they fuck you out of reading? Over on Twitter? I don't even know what his term is for it. Anymore. I don't know what Elon Musk is doing over there, aside from making it unusable. It was supposed to be a, a shit poster's haven. Oh, we're going to get rid of political persecution. Going to get rid of uh, censorship and all of that. And now you've got uh, the ADL calling the shots. There was a post about that today from, what is it, Greenblatt. you got other people talking about putting a, a new trusted safety commission in place. You've got to pay money. 
You're getting rate limited anytime you try to read something. I Is this like some tax write-off scam? <laughs> Did he take like advice from uh, Bankman? You know, our, our boy, our crypto king who won't see a day in jail? Did he, did he take advice from him on how to fuck a company into the dirt? I don't know. It, there's got to be more to it. I don't know what Elon's doing exactly. Have you been enjoying it? Have you been enjoying not being able to use Twitter at all, ever? Because uh, uh, apparently nobody's, no, nobody, <laughs> you got to pay money. Fuck that. I'm not going to get verified. I'm not paying money to use Twitter. I'll use Knitter as long as they can keep it going. I don't know how he keeps it going. I don't know what he's doing exactly or who runs it, uh, but it's pretty good. It works pretty well, but not at the moment because I can't, I can't, I can't play for you Ralph's slam poetry. It's fucking sad, I know. So here I am, eight months later, coming to recount uh, some of the fun things we've missed to talk about the sector, sell a few hats by my tarred rails so I can take a dump. <laughs> as I crawl around my house waiting for the next plague to fucking hit me. I feel like a, I'm a personal Egypt for God right now. Maybe he's going to send frogs next. I don't know. Plague of darkness. I have to stop by the butcher shop and get some fucking lamb's blood to avoid the next thing. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. Got to keep a, a positive attitude. I've tried to keep a positive attitude about it. You know, as I've gotten into new hobbies, I've been enjoying audiobooks. And a lot of the, uh, uh, most of it's apocalyptic shit or creepy pastas that are like five hours long. Let me tell you, they loved me. <laughs> they loved me on the recovery ward uh, at the cath lab. Oh, they, they love that. There's nothing more fun than listening at full volume to some horrifically apocalyptic shit when somebody's in the next room with their grandmother. Do you hear the machine beeping? Some old lady just barely escaped death. Her family's huddled around her. Oh, it's okay, Grandma. It's okay, you made it. We love you. Everything's going to be all right. And then muffled through the fucking wall, you could you could hear some try-hard fucking uh, narrator on an audiobook from YouTube saying shit like, And the demons, the demons ass-fucked all the victims in blood. <laughs> and you hear that machine start beeping faster? Grandma's like, what the fuck was that? I was, oh, I was talking about demons. Oh, God, Timmy, my heart hurts. I was talking about... Oh, the blood and sacrifice. Painful anal sex. And they got the family members screaming, Who's playing that shit? Oh, yeah, they love me. Sir, could you please... Could you please not play that on the fucking heart attack ward? You're scaring the goddamn patients. Actually, it was beneficial in one regard. Because I could figure out what the best stories to listen to were when I heard the 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 flat line. If I heard a flat line, that was my that was the sign that I'd found the perfect creepypasta. Oh, this must be scary. Killed that motherfucker. That guy. That guy's that guy's a goner. That guy's a goner. I know I'm bouncing around a little bit here, metaphorically, because I physically can't do it anymore. I'm turned into Tonka. <laughs> I'll be in a little wheelie chair soon. But I enjoyed my time. It was a nice time in the hospital. I suppose the staff were all very nice. I have to uh, complain a little bit about the facilities. For some reason, they don't like giving you showers. So you're stuck in this little room with a toilet. <laughs> but not like a completed bathroom. I felt like one of those people that was doing like an RV stream. You know those RV good life people on YouTube where they, they put five grand into their fucking kitchen, but then they have a bucket to shit in? That's That's kind of what it felt like. Like, maybe they didn't complete the fucking design. And I don't know if you know this. Maybe a lot of you wouldn't be, you know, experienced in this. But when somebody gets really sick and they're in the hospital, they stink. Man, woman, doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. There's a smell. There's a terrible smell associated with it. And if you keep a motherfucker in a room for like a week without a shower, and they get that smell going, and it's awful. And they give you these little body wipes. And I mean they're tiny. And these things, they're like the kind they give you at a rib joint. You know, the type that you use to, like, wash your face and your fingers. But it really doesn't do the job very well. It just makes you smell a little chemically and you're a bit sticky afterwards. And that's that's what they expect you. So I want you to imagine me uh, fucked up in every possibly conceivable manner with tubes just jetting off of my body. Looking like some weird cyberpunk amalgamation, some futuristic shit. 
with these little dainty fucking uh, handy wipes trying to get clean. And it's just not working. They, I think they hated me there. Aside from playing all those creepy creepypastas and scaring all the old people to death, I was the guy shouting out the room, Nurse! Bring me more, bring me more nappy wipes. My balls still smell. I can't. The smell won't go away. Bring me more nappy wipes, nurse. <laughs> I need at least 40 of them. Nurse, my testicles. I need 40 nappy wipes or somebody's going to vomit. The smell is getting to be too much. I can't bathe in this toilet. It's too small. <laughs> what an enjoyable couple of weeks. Enjoyable. Fun times. Fun times. But as I said, I, I, I'll do a, a bit of a sector recap for you. I see the Super Chats. I will try to read some of them. Again, because my voice apparently still works. It's amazing. I'll read a few of those for you. We'll talk about some of the big events that have happened over the last eight months, because I have been watching it. I know you might think it's infeasible that I can do this, but I can. <laughs> I can so, uh, oh my God, I, uh, we've talked about the hacks that happened that really resulted in nothing other than Chud Buds getting shut down, Post is still around. But really, what was the, the big beats of the year outside of, you know, mainstream news, but the sector news? Well, I'm sure you've all noticed. Of course you haven't, because nobody pays attention. Who gives a shit about America First anymore? America First? Nick Fuentes and Ralph have had a big breakup. Oh, it's so sad, tragic. Cozy numbers are plummeting. Nick is running around. Now, I think the last place we left off with uh, Nicholas Fuentes. Let me see if I've got a picture. Can I put a picture of him up? There we go. Heartbreaking, chat. Now, I, I'm sure you remember this. This was one of the top relationships of 2022. Two beautiful gay men in their interracial relationship. It's the modern age. Nobody should feel ashamed. They were meant for each other. Nick was going to be his campaign manager and help Yeezy going to help yay become president of these united states of america flew out to california is a big deal real big leg up for a nicholas and he needs a leg up because the motherfucker's short don't worry nick you'll probably be taller than me by the end of this it's more of my uh, spinal cord disintegrates but i'm still taller than your little midget ass right now so i'm going to keep those short jokes coming but there he was with yeezy took an insane black man off his medication <laughs> And then made him do puppet shows for Alex Jones. Really great for a presidential campaign. I'm sure it genius strategy. Well, it turns out, through all the leaked information that's come out, that Nick basically was hanging out in an Airbnb for like four months doing nothing because Kanye fired his ass after making him look like a fucking buffoon in front of the entire world. Who would have thought, huh? Even if he is off his beds and a bit, you know, insane, he probably doesn't like being made fun of by literally everyone and probably thought Nick was primarily responsible for all of that. Now, the wild part of this story is Nick and everybody else treats it like, oh, well, Kanye's a joke now. We don't care about Kanye. You remember? You remember Beardson? Beardson Beardley? The little the little leprechaun gnome of uh, Cozy and America First? That dude, like, dedicated himself to buying uh, Kanye West gear? Shirts and shoes and pants and chains and CDs and everything. It's like a little fangirl. Doesn't do that anymore. Kanye kicked his ass to the curb. Of course, that was a, the start, not the end for all the bad news for poor little Nick. Because Nick had to deal, and I kid you not, with the most terrifying thing you could probably imagine. A time-traveling pedophile. Allegedly. I should say allegedly. Because I don't want Ali Alexander digging my corpse up to sue it at some point in the future. Now, allegedly, <laughs> this is so fucked up. <clears throat> the Kanye thing implodes. America first has to deal with the fallout. Nick isn't looking too good. It's not looking so great for him. Their numbers are diminishing. He's getting made fun of. So what happens? All this information gets leaked by Milo Yiannopoulos. Now, Milo, who's been in this game forever, somehow... <laughs> snake them so uh, milo gets a like this dude becomes a part of the kanye west presidential campaign makes like forty thousand dollars through billings gets a bunch of like you know uh shoulder rubbing uh meets a bunch of people it's looking great for him and then he bails right he dips out before all the negative press just berates and hits nick 
And then once it's done, he pops back in. But Milo wanting to enjoy, you know, the corpse of uh, America first mounted on his wall, decides that he's going to start a campaign against Ali Alexander, one of Nick's close confidants, somebody that Nick uh, hubnubs with, Somebody that does favors for all the AFers gets them their accounts restored. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what the allure of Ali Alexander is, but, you know, whatever. Ali Akbar, whatever his name is, he's got multiple names. So Milo starts dropping information. Turns out there are numerous allegations from young men saying that Ali Alexander touched them in their no-no naughty square. Uh-oh. Turns out one of them, maybe you, uh, if you've watched streams I've done before, they did a stream where Baked Alaska went on an RV trip. And there happened to be somebody named Smiley aboard. And we found out the reason he was named Smiley is because the man has a penis the size of a horse's. <laughs> and he likes to show it off in little short shorts. I know he knows what he's doing. But that's why he's got a big old smile on his face. Well, apparently Smiley interacted with Ollie back when he was a kid. Like 14, 15 years old. Somebody was looking for dick pics. Apparently, Ollie was out there trying to get dick pics from a lot of young teenage boys, allegedly, based on what Milo Yiannopoulos has posted. Now, you think this would be catastrophic for an organization. You've got a group of people that are trying to be political, trying to raise money, trying to change America and do all this shit. And now you got this dude who's got like, 20, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding, like 25 allegations of trying to hit on young boys. Now, you'd think in that situation... Nick or anybody in AF would immediately disavow Ali Alexander. You would be wrong. No, Nick and everybody else decides to side with them. Going as far, I'm not even kidding, Ethan Ralph and Nick Fuentes both decide that they're going to say uh, uh, they were asking for it. That these boys were sluts and they were asking to be molested by the Sammy Davis Jr. lookalike who time travels. He talks about time traveling. I should really look that clip up so I can play it for you. Because I don't think you appreciate how absolutely insane he is. Let me do that right now. Should have been prepared. Terrible. I don't know. Chat, as I'm doing our little recap here, do you want me to find the Ali Alexander clip of him being a time traveling pedophile? Would you be interested in that? Shall we talk about him being a time traveler? <laughs> what a fucking horrible concept that is. How has that not been made into a horror movie? I want you to think of how fucked up and scary that would be. You're sitting there talking with your friends. What did you see, man? Oh, they made this new hostile movie? This brutal torture scenes? It's just, it's so extreme. What about you? Oh, there's this psychopathic serial killer who rides his little tricycle as a doll? And, like, brutalizes people in death traps? And, uh, Bob, what did you see? I don't want to talk about it. What, what do you mean you don't want to talk about it? Listen, man, I watched this fucking movie about this guy when he gets mad at you. He travels into the past and he molests you. <laughs> when, when you make him mad, he fucks you in the butt when you're like a preteen. And he just does it to everybody. It was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. It was the scariest fucking movie I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, let me see if I can find the I'm absolutely insane time traveler, Ali Alexander. Of course. Is it gonna is it gonna let me find it? Ugh. I'm so unprepared, chat. This is terrible. I've got two videos I want to play for you, and I can't find either of them. One because Knitter's not working, the other because I, I guess Ollie time traveled and fucked with the search results. I Means some poor engineer at YouTube just got molested when he was six. <laughs> oh, he didn't see that coming. He probably did see it coming when he was six. And it dramatically scarred him. That's why these search results aren't up anymore. It's fucking terrifying. We'll get the clip. I'll get the clip. I'll play the clip. I'll find the clip. But all you need to know is that Ollie was out there doing all of this and nobody disavowed him. Which started an entire thing. A big discussion. And a big fracture in the group. Because apparently Baked Alaska was friends with Smiley. Got him to go on uh, the kill stream, where Ralph basically called him a slut and said he should open an OnlyFans. Really great way to talk to somebody that went through traumatic child sexual abuse. Call him a slut and tell him they were asking for it. You know, AF really, really shoulder to shoulder on this entire thing. 
And at this point, I don't think Ollie's even fully been disavowed because it, it like seemingly keeps coming up that Nifuent disassociates with him. Not a good look. Not a good look. Of course, this leads to Fallout where Baked Alaska, who's now gone to prison twice, once for the J6 stuff and once for the, was it Macing a Bouncer? I think he went to like a, a normal jail for that one. Comes out and finds out nobody in AF wrote him. <laughs> nobody cared about him. And while he's in jail, Nick Fuentes uh, cancels his cozy channel. Kicks him off. Just throws him to the curb. Of course, he's not the only one. Ralph gets thrown to the curb, too. We'll get into that more in a bit. But now they're like bosom buddies again. I guess, you know, they've been through a traumatic experience with one another. They can go down to the FBI building together holding hands, talking about their hatred of Nicholas Fuentes. As they, as they turn over state and federal evidence. <laughs> oh, Can somebody explain to me this? I, I, I've seen Jaden, who was a former af and a friend of uh, Nick Fuentes, bring this up when he plays a clip. There's a clip of Fuentes uh, outside the Capitol on a, uh, a loudspeaker telling people to rush the barricades, to push past people and to get in there, inciting the crowd to go do what they did. And Nick gets into no trouble for it. Never charged, nothing happens. But other people, well, in fact, wasn't it the leader of the Proud Boys that he just got sentenced to, what, 17 years? I'm pretty sure I saw, like, an old grandma get, like, a year and a half. Yet somehow Nick's on tape, on tape, telling people to rush the barricades, to fight security, to get in there. Nothing happens to him. A little bit suspect. Got me, got me thinking a little. Got the noggin jogging a little bit. What's going on here? What's going on here with this AF organization? that seemingly can be involved with illegal acts where the leader never gets in trouble, and he's shoulder to shoulder with an alleged pedophile who, I guess, seemingly molested, like, 25 gripers? And nobody cares. They blame the gripers. Oh, you were asking for it, kid. You deserved it. And yet, somehow, this is the person that's going to save uh, the future of, you know, the future of America. This guy. This guy that looks like he wants to kiss Kanye West on the lips. Give me a kiss. Right on the lips. I don't know. I'm starting to get a feeling that maybe, maybe, this is a fucking honeypot. Chat, does it make you think a little bit? Hmm? Does it make you think a little bit? Maybe this is a fucking honeypot organization? A little bit of a honeypot organization doing some things they shouldn't be doing? Now, I don't want to make it seem like uh, it's just Nick out there uh, doing terrible things and saying terrible things. Well, and again, we'll get to the big part of the Ralph stream, but one of the things you need to know about Ralph is uh, he went like on a six month bender and this bender happened to coincide with around the time Chud Buds got, you know, hacked. And one of the things that happened to Claire, the owner, is her nudes were found. They got on her computer. They, they, they ratted it. Essentially, they got backdoor access to her computer, found some uh, naked pictures on her computer, or maybe it was her phone that she'd sent her husband. And I want you to listen again. This is Kind of during the buildup to Milo Yiannopoulos talking about how America First has a pedophile problem. Listen to what Ralph says should be done with the naked pictures of this woman. Just because I think people forget this particular clip, so I think it's good. Just a refresher. By the way, I completely avow sending classmates of her kids um, all of her nude pictures, um, if that's legal. <laughs> <laughs> make him then known. Don't send them directly, but just make them known. I don't think you can send them directly. I think that's illegal. So Ethan Ralph, I, I want you to understand what he's fucking suggesting here because he, there's another clip where he doubles down on this. It says, in fact, he d definitely wants to do this. Um, he wants to take naked pornographic pictures and send them to children. He wants to send pornographic pictures to school children, not just her children, but her classmates, their classmates. He wants to send pornographic pictures to preteen children in elementary school as a pedophile scandal's going on, as Ali Alexander's being accused of molesting gripers. Ethan gets on there and says, let's start sending porno to kids. I want you to do the, do my bidding. Get out there and do my bit. I, I'm just going to replay it because I don't, you know, it's, you hear that and you're like, Duck, did he really say that? By the way, I completely avow sending classmates of her kids, um, all of her nude pictures, um, if that's legal. 
<laughs> make them then known. Don't send them directly, but just make them known. I don't think you can send them directly. I think that's illegal. You you th uh, you think that's illegal? No, I, I could probably tell you that's horrifically illegal. I think I think that's about as illegal as illegal gets. Now I'm I I almost want to give him some benefit of the doubt because at this point he was like liquid Xanax. He was like on five bajillion milligrams of the shit and about 4,000 Modellos were coursing. He was more Modello than blood pumping through him at this point. So you'd think, okay, maybe he's so fucked up in goofball land. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But now he doubles down on it. Doubles down on it. So you've got this organization, again, because Ralph at the, at the time was still part of Cozy. You could say he's not part of AF, but he's definitely part of Cozy. He's friends with Nick. And they've got this, this I think Ali Alexander's like 30 or 40. This 30 or 40-year-old man constantly hitting on teenage boys, allegedly, according to Milo Yiannopoulos. Again, allegedly are everywhere here. Uh, doing that. And then this woman has her nudes leak. And you've got another person at Cozy, you know, uh, not just blaming victims of Ali Alexander, saying they deserved it, they were sluts that wanted it, but also saying that uh, you should start sending out nudes to, to classmates, not even people related to this woman, just random children at the school you should start sending those out to. Now, I don't know. You know, we've seen Ralph kind of descend in his zanny spiral, which took place for about six months on the Internet after I left, which would have been great content, let me tell you. But, you know, he got this, you can kind of see him here. He's a little spooked. I like to call this Zanny fever. This is the, the ghost of Modellos are haunting him. He doesn't really, he's looking around. He's checking his, the perimeter. Let's, let's one more time. Oh, where are this? Oh, I heard something. What is that? Is that the police? Does Modellos are talking to me? I don't know what's going on. He's a little spooked. A little spooked. I'd be a little spooked too if I was advocating creating a, a, a group of, well, advocating that people essentially engage in probably one of the most illegal acts they could uh, that will get you beaten to death in prison. Not really high up on the popularity list. You know, what are you in for? Murder. How about you? Oh, I stole some shit. How about you? Oh, you know, sex stuff related to kids. It's a great way to get killed and shanked in jail. But of course, good old Ralph, he doesn't care. He's got that heat. Look at him. He was, I, I ain't scared, bitch. Memphis tan. <laughs> Oh, all sorts of crazy shit going on with our boy. What has Ralph been up to? Well, he went into a bit of a spiral, had a little a bit of a, a domestic with his family. His wife left him, took the kid. This is the second time <laughs> this has happened. Went on a zanny spree. A long, long-lasting, six-month-long, seven-month-long zanny spree of Modellos and zannies. Finally culminating in... Nick Fuentes saying, I don't want your drunk ass showing up at one of my events and embarrassing me. And that's when the, the war started. And what war are we talking about? Well, of course, it's the Ethan Ralph versus Nick Fuentes war that we all knew was going to happen. We knew eventually it had to happen. Now, you got Nick out there. He's trying to recreate his image right at the, uh, the height of this. This happened within the last few months. He's trying. He's out there. He's doing stuff. He keeps going on different shows, and it's not working out super well for him. Because you've got to understand, every time Nick Fuentes goes on to a new podcast, whether that's uh, Sneeko or Pearly Things or Fit and Fitness or whatever the fuck they're called, every time he goes on, there's some new news article or somebody just basically, they repeat this back to him. I am not gay. I have relationships with women. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. Because they're baffled. What does that mean, Nick? What did you mean when you told people that having sex with women was gay? <laughs> He's struggling through it. There's nothing funnier than looking at Nick Fuentes surrounded by like a six or seven uh, fucking six foot five black guys and a bunch of black women all looking, just staring at him as he tries to explain his political beliefs and talk about how having sex with women is gay. So Nick's out there. He's doing his thing. He wants to hold new events. And you got Ralph, who is just so fucked up, he's incoherent. I mean, it's just disaster time for Ralph. It, it was a really rough six or seven months. And Nick uh, sends him a message, hey, uh, Rage Pig, don't fuck my event up. 
could you try not to vomit and shit yourself? That would be a great help, please, for the love of Christ. It's so fucking embarrassing knowing you. <laughs> could you just not fucking embarrass me? And Ralph, being the reasonable person that he is, declares total fucking war. It's a jihad against America first. And he's and he offers something, I, what did he call it? A-log amnesty? Which basically means stop picking on me. He convinced the, he put out an offer. What a great offer. Hey, stop picking on me. You guys, you guys are being real mean. Stop picking on me. If you can stop picking on me, um, I'll stop threatening to murder everyone and dox everyone. And this lasted two weeks, three weeks before it went down the, the shithole. Before, <laughs> before he's uh, popping zannies and drinking again and starting fights with everybody and he went after Avon Chartsdale, which was like his biggest donator. This guy would religiously donate to Ralph. Defended him, kissed his ass. Then he goes on stream and basically says, I know what you look like. I know where you live. I'm going to post pictures of you. I'm going to post your name. I'm just going to fuck with you on a personal level. <laughs> it's just, it's a big old fucking spiral. And poor Ralph, he's, he's kind of out there on his own now. And I don't mean just like domestically. I mean, you know, whatever. His personal relationship didn't work out. The wife took off, took the kid. I mean, like, co-host-wise. He's got, like, there's nobody left. They've, they've all kind of fucking disappeared. He's, he's driven them all off. Now he's literally left with people that used to fuck with him and troll him are the only people that come on his show. And I'm pretty sure they're just seeing how long it's going to take to drive him over the edge. <laughs> it's like a long con. I mean, you remember Bibble, right? Let me give you a let me give you a quick refresher course on our little boy Bibble. This was a co-host of Ralph's who was uh, around for quite some time. One of the the great medical team that works with uh, Mersh and uh, uh, Nurse Pohl and Doctor Ralph. Give you a little refresher on Bibble, the D and D Lord. Now it's time for the counterattack, and we're gonna keep going at you until you know what's gonna happen. Some some fame seeker is gonna go out there and they're gonna try and get a picture of you, Jim. Some fame seek, somebody who wants to be famous on, on the farms is going to go out there and snap some candid photos of you. I don't want it to happen, but that's what's going to happen. That's what happens when enough people get on there, enough people get in the chat, they all rile each other up. You know how these fucking schizos are. I don't want it to happen, but that's what's going to happen. They're going to go out there. They're going to take pictures of your wife out in the front yard. They're going to try and take pictures to your window, Jim. Uh, they're gonna they, they're gonna try and do something crazy. They might start up a stream and start walking around your house. They might try and press your wife out in the front yard or at her work. I don't want any of that to happen. But you know, as long as the more this continues, the more these schizos get all riled up. And, and you know how they get, man. You know how they get. All you gotta do is just you know post a letter of apology on your Twitter. Go on your stream. Say that you lost say that we won, and then delete everything and never come back. That's all you got to do, and we'll stop talking about you. And the schizos will forget about you like they always do. So you see, but what's going to happen, and Jim thinks, oh, well, I'll just disappear. This is what I've always done. When the heat starts to really get turned up, when the schizos start to really get riled up, I just go away. We're still going to talk about you. We're still going to talk about you. We're going to have a daily Medicare watch. A daily Medicare watch. That was uh, that was one of Ethan's close co-hosts, Bibble. Bibble, by the way, interesting fact. After he goes on this tirade, Jim, you need to apologize. We're we're gonna knock on your windows. We're gonna press your wife in public. Fun fact: uh, Andy Worski and PVP over at the Kino Casino decided they were gonna dedicate a show to Bibble. They're like, "Hey, Bibble, uh, we we know who you are, I guess, uh, and we're gonna do a show on you because it's funny." And now Bibble disappeared. Wow, that's so weird. It's so weird that Bibble was there gleefully talking about uh, people uh, sneaking around my house and trying to break in. And the moment somebody says, hey, I know who you are, he suddenly vanishes. Bibble's no more. He's poofed. It's like he just, just disappeared. It's an unsolved mystery. I wish Is that show still around? Are they still doing that on Netflix? Maybe we can get a Bibble episode going. Find out what happened to Bibble. Where's the mysterious disappearance of our boy Bibble's? How will we ever play our games of D&D without our bibbles? Well, it really makes you think. I got to say, you know, health-wise, I've sure taken a hit. But 
boy, oh boy, all the people I was laughing at have really been stumbling over their asses for the last fucking six to seven to eight months. AF is pretty much a, a joke at this point, known for being full of pedophiles. Uh, Ethan Ralph's life has devolved into gutter trash. Bibble has run for the hill. Nick Fuentes uh, basically is a laughing stock. Uh, Power Chat's uh, kind of imploding as Louise and Baked. I don't know what they're doing with it. All I know is I, I keep seeing streams of them kissing uh, transsexual men. I don't, is that a, I don't, there's something really weird with America First. It's like a beard. It's like a beard for sexual de degenerates who talk about being uh, virtuous Catholics and conservatives and wanting to fix America, but really they just want to have really steamy, hot gay sex with each other. And they just can't cope with the fact that that's what they're into. Live your best life, boys. Come on. What what are we worried about here? It's time to just, it's time to embrace it. You're all really, really gay, and we all know it, and it, that's okay. Nobody's judging you for it. Louise, Baked, Beardson, Nick Fuentes, uh, Dalton, our little dancing Dalton, the Michael Jackson impersonator, Wars a Root, even Ralph, who had uh, his own leak happen, <laughs> where they found a letter that he had addressed to a man, a gay love letter, talking about a four-year relationship. Let's just, let's put the cards on the table, boys. It's time to come out of the closet. I think everybody in chat can agree. Chat, can you agree with me? Is it just time for them to live their best life? Should we do a poll? Let's do a poll. <laughs> Yes, and uh, uh, I'll I'll add the no option. Nobody's going to choose it though. All right, there we go. It's time. It's time we just go for it. Is it time for the entire organization known as America First Cozy TV to come out of the fucking closet because nobody believes it anymore that these people are straight? There isn't one that has a functional relationship with a woman. Nobody could keep their marriage going. Nobody could keep a family unit cohesive. It's just a bunch of dudes that seemingly play grab ass with each other over and over and over again while baiting idiots into getting arrested for federal level crimes. So is it time? Is it time just to come out of the closet and suck that dick publicly? There's nothing wrong with it. We all accept it. All right. It's, it's okay. It's fine. Nobody's judging. Nobody's judging your, your desire to huff cock. I mean, you know, you got a, a case in point. I said that uh, the people that used to make fun of Ralph are now his co-host, King of Paws, now a co-host of Ralph's. Uh, we've got King of Pole, Outline Hunter. I think he's in chat today even, going on Ralph's stream repeatedly. I mean, the signs are all there. This man literally begs for dick pics. And he was accepted into the warm embrace of Cozy. <laughs> and Nick, Nick welcomed him with open arms too. So let's just be real. They're all gay. They're all gay, and they refuse to accept it, and I'm sick of pretending they're not. I think we're all just sick of pretending they're not. I'm looking at this poll result, chat. 92%, that's a pretty overwhelming majority. 6,000 votes, 92% of you. All pretty much in agreement. It's like 5,400 people. It's time to live their best life. It's time. Oh, man, these fucking people. You know, I look back to that first debate that I had with Nick Fuentes back in the day. This is when uh, when our, our boy, Alberto, uh, <laughs> TND Alberto, was out there. He was part of, he was on Cozy. You know, he was friendly with all the people over at AF. They weren't uh, hating him just yet. Hosted a stream, a big debate stream. All the Groypers are watching. They're all riled up because, how oh, dare Jim say that Flagging down people is wrong. And I remember. I remember sitting on that stream. I remember how it went and looking at those poll results afterwards where they got blown the fuck out. And now here we are. Oh, it's been it's been a year and a half almost. Since that uh since that little debate. And everything is just a trash fire for these people. Just a fucking trash fire. I mean, I thought criminals were based. That's what I was told by Hitler 2, 3, and 4. 
But now Hitler 2, 3, and 4 is trying to tell me that um, dressing in trash bags and voting Kanye was the way to go. And, um, you know, try to fuck over Trump. <laughs> and uh, uh, posting up uh, creep shots of Jaden repeatedly on his uh, on his account. You know, all, all this, uh, this kind of imploded on him. Who would have thought these two, these two, this iconic duo would have broken up and gone their separate way? Very sad. It's very sad that this went this way, but there it is. I mean, that's the start of it. And somehow I'm, even, even as my body literally implodes on itself, maybe God's keeping me around just to watch the implosion. And when they close cozy, that's what I'm just going to croak. Maybe that's what it is. I, I mean, I'll take it. Thank you for the extra time. <laughs> But just just watching it devolve, because now if you go over to Cozy TV, you're going to get, I don't know, like 100 viewers watching shit. Nobody's watching anything over there anymore. You're going to watch Wurzel Root get fatter. You're going to watch Beardson get shorter. You're going to watch Nick get gayer. Like, what's, what's the appeal? What are you watching for? Not a lot going on. And Ralph has spun off onto his own thing over on Rumble. Trying to do the A-log amnesty, but it blew up in his face, kind of, because now he's going after everybody once again. I don't get it. I thought the whole point was he was going to go after AF, but then uh, started fighting with the A-logs once again. (laughs) Truce lasted a whole fucking day and a half. Really good. Really fun. Let me put my little pudding back up. I (laughs) I missed my little pudding. What the fuck? So not uh, not going great over there. So what else is happening in the sector? Well, Kino Casino's still going strong. You know, I've seen a lot of hate for them, mainly coming from AF people, uh, Ralph in particular, uh, a couple other people here and there. And I was like, why why are they so why are people so mad at Kino Casino? What about it? You know, Ashton and Andy, are they so fucking mad about? It? You know, and then I watched a couple of their kick streams. Now, I don't know how subscriptions work over on Kick. I'm assuming it's kind of like Twitch, right? Where it's like five bucks or something. And I, I unless I misheard them, I think they have like 2,500 fucking subscribers over on Kick, which is insane. If it's $5 a subscription and they have 2,500 subscribers, they are rolling in fucking money. On top of uh, all the other extra shit, you know, the donations and all the other extra shit they do, they're they're killing it financially. And then you've got Ralph trying to do a log amnesty and go after AF. This is his big moment to shine, struggling to pull in three hundred dollars a stream, watching Ashton and Andy pull in a ridiculous amount of money. It's insane. So I'm I'm gonna guess that's where the ass hurts coming from. Not 100% certain. Sides have changed. Streamers have jumped off and uh, done different things here and there. You know, I'll let you in on a little secret. It's a little uh, cyclical thing that I've noticed has happened anytime a niche topic pops up on the internet. Kind of happened with um, internet blood sports. But generally, this is what happens. A novel concept is introduced. Uh, Three or four streamers or groups of streamers will put out a a larger show. They'll get, um, you know, uh, the bulk of the money, the bulk of the viewership. Then you'll have your medium streamers. They're around 1,000 viewers, maybe. They make a decent living. And then your smaller streamers. And they make, you know, a good pocket change. They've got a loyal audience. And so this new hot commodity is out there. Let's say it's um, Internet Blood Sports. So when that was going on, you had like Andy and Tonka, Failure. You you had all these different shows. And for about a year or two, it'll be pretty popular. But then the infighting starts. Then everybody starts going after each other. Because either the initial topic is passed or animosities start to pop up or personalities rub against each other the wrong way. And so shows start to kill each other off. At the same time, you've got a group of people in the audience that are like super parasocial. Now these aren't like, you know, these aren't donators or fans. These are people that probably like have hand-drawn wall posters up for the fucking host of the show that they watch. But that, that parasocial relationship twists and it turns as time goes on. And they get angry. They get mad. Because they're going to do it better than any of these fucking shows is going to do. So as time goes on and these shows start to implode and fight with each other, you've got this small subset that's going to show everybody how it's done. And so they, they go about destroying these shows. And then they start their own shows. And they're boring as shit. And nobody watches them. 
And then that entire topic, that novel approach, that, that small little genre is dead, buried, and gone. So I don't know what you would call the last year or two. It's not really internet blood sports. Would it be uh, 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 the, the wild run of the A-logs? You know, uh, the anti-AF arc? Whatever you want to call it. But you've noticed kind of the bigger shows disappear. Kino Ski Sino's kind of held on. A couple of the smaller ones have held on. And you've got new people trying to pop up and fill that gap. And who do you have? King of Pole? <laughs> Perspectivity? I can't even pronounce his fucking name. He's so boring, I can't stick around long enough to hear what it says. You got Bibble, who disappeared into the D&D dungeon, never to be seen again? Oh, we're, we're about to hit a drought, is what I'm telling you. I've been watching now the last eight months. You're about to hit a drought. You've got some people that switch sides at the worst conceivable fucking moment. Won't uh, name any names here. It's feasible. You might be able to come up with your own names on what's going on. But they chose the worst possible time, and now they're, like, selling Disney toys or something? I, I, I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> How do you go from running a successful stream to selling Disney toys? Like Disney collectible cards? Really? Some weird shit going on. Oh, hold on one second here. I think our poll is good. Our poll is done. There we go. All right. The poll was pretty, pretty uh, handedly one-sided. Now I know. In regards to, uh, <laughs> if, in regards to a specific subject of an individual who was angry about his name being put out there, I get it. I understand it. Had my name put out there. Had my information put out there. Nobody likes it. Everybody likes being anonymous. They like having anonymity. But I would say it's a little weird to go from. Uh, one group of people you could be mad at for putting your name out there. I get it. Uh, to the other group who was the initial people that put your name out there. <laughs> it's like you're running between, it's like you're a beaten housewife and you're running between uh, two husbands that beat you. Maybe choose a third path that doesn't involve Disney figurines and <laughs> kissing Nick Fuentes' ass. Because I'm pretty sure those guys hate you. And they used you. And they're going to just toss you aside. I don't know, man. I know it's rough. It's a weird situation, but you got that going on. So the I, the sector is just, it's very weird. I think Ralph is kind of on his, on his last legs, I guess, uh, metaphorically speaking. I mean, I, I don't know where he goes from here. He's talking about like moving again, maybe. Is he going to go to, to Cuba? Is he heading to Cuba, maybe? I don't know. Is he going to go to some South American country? Maybe. Oh, oh, it looks like Knitter might be working. We might be able to actually get the clip of Ralph reading his I'm so sad poetry. Chat, would you like to hear his I'm so sad poetry? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. All right, we got it. We got it, chat. Knitter's working for a minute. I got to I got to take I got to take the moments. I got to take I got to shoot my shot, chat. Let me up the, the volume here. Let me get the desktop audio ready to go here. Make sure that's playing. That should be good to go through. Okay, uh, one second. Chat, apparently we've got Christmas carolers at the wrong time of year. <laughs> oh, boy. Surprises at the door at Jimmy's house. Uh, just give me a minute. Give me a minute. One second, chat. Let me put on, let me put on some music. And go see what our disturbance is here. One second. The haters on YouTube are on the verge of flooding with hate comments. He's got that. He's got that. Must wake up. He's got that. Must fight down. He's got that. He's got that. He's got that.
moron. Oh, what are you doing? Let's just fucking stream. It's have a good time. Maybe have a good game. He's got that. <laughs> that damn Kiwi Farms. Gas is got that. Okay. Okay. All right. We're back, chat. We're back. Disaster, disaster averted. Not swatted. Not swatted. <laughs> the police are too informed for that to happen. They know they can just ask for hats whenever they want them now. It's apparently, I've been door dashed. Somebody sent me some delicious McDonald's. <laughs> That's a little cuntish. Hey, hey, dude that just had like multiple massive heart attacks. Have some McDonald's. <laughs> That's going to make you super healthy, bro. Bro, I heard you had a heart attack. Here's a bucket of lard. Eat it like a pig. Get down on your fucking hands and knees and eat it like a pig. I want to hear your heart explode. <laughs> Enjoy that Mickey D's heart attack, patient. <laughs> uh, but it's a thought that counts. It's very sweet. It's a very sweet gesture. <laughs> it's a very sweet gesture. I'm loving it. Da, 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 da. I mean, it's because I talked about Nick Fuentes getting fucked in his butt by Ronald McDonald. That's why. <laughs> That's why somebody's like, I'll get you, Jimmy. Oh, you think clowns are funny? You think McDonald's is funny? How about you eat this? Is it Big Macs? Whoppers? Whatever. Fucking hamburger. Eat it. Shut the fucking fries down your throat. I'm loving it. Okay. <laughs> I completely lost track of where I was. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine over at Jimmy's house. I'll have to buy the clown his own fucking, uh, <laughs> I'll have to buy Ronald a hat or two. Unnerve me a little bit. I'll admit it, boys. In the process of quitting smoking, you got me smoking now. Enjoying a cigarette over here. <laughs> Nothing says recovering from a heart attack better than a cigarette and McDonald's. Really, it's the best approach you can take. It's heart healthy. Now, what was that? Okay, we're at Ethan Ralph. That's what we were talking about. Our boy Ethan and his slam poetry. Now, I don't know what could compel a man to ever actually read this out loud, as embarrassing as this is, but apparently he did. It's not too long. It's just a minute and 40 seconds over on uh, uh, Kino uh well, I was going to say Knitter account, his Twitter account, if you want to watch it later on, pulled from one of his streams he did recently. It's a little bit of slam poetry, a little sad poetry. I want you to get your mindset mentally prepared for this, chat. Remember back when you were like 12 and you had a crush on somebody, but they didn't like you back? So you got really sad and you had all these things you wanted to say, but of course you had common sense, so you never wrote them down and gave them to that person? Well, Ralph decided, here's a good idea. I'm going to read this in front of an audience that likes to fuck with me. I'm going to read my sad uh, preteen poetry out to the audience. Now, I'm not sure. Is this Ode to Piggy? I'm not sure what the name of the fucking poem is. But we're going to listen to some of it. So prepare yourself. Put yourself in that mindset. Heartbroken 12-year-old. Let me make sure I've got the audio ready to go for desktop. There we go. Let's listen to this. This is the master of the written word. If you remember back to when Ralph and I first had our falling out, he wrote uh, some... Really hard-hitting articles, smoke in the fire or some shit, about me that we read on stream. So this is coming from that literary genius. Here we go. Again, I don't know the name of the poem, but he's going to read it for us. I'm excited. Good music choice. He's just preparing himself. I know I'm not showing the video. You just need the words. They touch the heart. I know it's ironic. <laughs> they touch the heart. This is the poem I wrote to my wife about a month ago. This is the, okay. Hopefully the audio is coming in clear for you. This is a poem he wrote to his wife about a month ago. I said, I don't know what to do or what to say. I think about you every second of the day. 
If I should die before I wake, I pray to God your life be great. Woo! Oh, God. I, I got some tears in my eyes here, guys. Oh, you know, nearly dying didn't make me cry like a bitch, but this is some heart-rending stuff. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I love you, bish. I don't want to divorce you. The, the ground is flat. The sky is high. I don't got nothing to rhyme with that. I'm just so sad. Is that about the level we're at here, Ralph? We must be separate for a while, but all I want is you to smile. Our love was great and grand and rough, but I know it made you tough. <laughs> this is, this is fucking awful. I never want to let you go. Life has told me I have to though. I really, really don't want to listen. The ring you wear, I hope still glistens. No, you know what? We're going to rewrite some of this. Let's go back. I never want to let you go. Life has told me I have to, though. I really, really don't want to listen. I like the way you look when my piss makes you glisten. Is that is that romantic? Did that, that rhymed, right? That was illiterate enough for a horse? The ring you wear, I hope, still glistens. And if, and if it already has been shed, I hope you'll remember when I'm dead. That, that Nick Fuentes is a fat. That I really, really loved you so. I just didn't always know how to show. And, Fish. Uh, that was the poem that I wrote there. No wonder she left you on read. Dude, I want to put you on read. What the fuck? What was that? That was like a handicapped preteen. That's not even a fully functional child wrote that, Ralph. What the fuck am I listening to? That's, that's like, that's, you make Hallmark writers seem like literary giants with that shit. I could buy a card for a dollar that's better at what you're attempting to do. Ralph, what is this? I, I, we need to, we need to really analyze this a little more. This is the poem I wrote to my wife. <laughs> Could you imagine like you, you, oh, you're like his wife and you've fled the country when he wasn't around and taking your child with you. And this just pops in your inbox. About a month ago. <laughs> He's like, no, baby, I'm off the drugs and the drink. And this pops in your inbox. I said, I don't know what to do or what to say. I eat shit every day. I think about you every second of the day. If I should die before I wake, I pray to God your life be great. Bish! <laughs> he needs to add more bishes in there. We must be separate for a while, but all I want is you to... Oh, no, I got it. I got it. I got a perfect follow-up line for that. Hold on. Before I wake, I pray to God your life go. be Here great. Go. It's coming. We must be separate for a while. Ali Alexander is most definitely a pedophile. Allegedly. But all I want is you to smile. Our love was great and grand and rough. <laughs> but you never stopped laughing when you saw me in the buff. Bish! Four tits ain't nothing to be ashamed of, Memphis. Tang! But I know it made you tough. I never want to let you go. That's why I locked you in the basement, whore. I'm coming for you. Uh, well, that doesn't really rhyme. It's just anger seeping out. Life has told me I have to, though. I really, really don't want to listen. The ring you wear, I hope, still glistens. And if, and if it already has been shed... I'll murder you in my mother's bed. The end. <laughs> That's how he closes it out. Sincerely, I hope Ralph. You'll remember when I'm dead that I really, really loved you so. I... Even though you're a horse-faced hoe. See, it's just they just pop off. They just pop. I should have been. I should have been a quote maker like Aloise from Reddit. 
<laughs> I, that should have been my job. I could have been on Fiverr right now selling those poems, making relationships you didn't last. always know how to show. And uh, that was the poem that I wrote there. Whew. It's some heady shit. It's some, some heady shit. And we got a few more Ralph clips. Let's see what he's been up to. Just recently. And some audio. Kino Gay is just desperate to spread this retarded theory that I was drunk and or pilled out all day. I did a nine-hour stream and was not fucked up the entire time. I know that his paymasters at the Kino Casino uh, will do basically anything to get that across. Uh, but no, I wasn't fucked up. I wasn't drunk. Can we be honest here? No man in his right mind who's sober is going to read a poem of that caliber sober to an audience of more than none. I would be embarrassed to read that in a mirror, Ralph. Why are you reading that to an audience? <laughs> you could have sounded and behaved the most sober way possible. And I would not believe you to be sober just because you actually read that abomination to your audience. Why? Why would you do that? Now, I know uh, maybe you're unfamiliar with this chat as we're kind of, you know, finishing up on Dissector with Ethan and all of this. But you've got this guy uh, who's fighting now with uh, the Thorps, who I'm not really super familiar with. Some weird kind of alleged incest shit going on. I, I don't fucking know who these people are. But Ralph goes on to the Thorpe stream with like the dad and the daughter and other people. And just gets mollywopped. I mean, gets just fucked into the dirt. Brutally fucked into the dirt. With no mercy. For like five or six hours straight. And he sits there and he takes it. And I cannot for the life of me figure out why. Why would you sit around for that abuse, Ralph? Why would you sit around and let them just shit on you? To that extent, it kind of blew my mind. I thought, there's no, somebody's going to pull him out. Somebody's going to step in and pull him out of this. But nope, nope, he just sat there and he took it. <laughs> he sat there and he let them shit right in his mouth, which he probably enjoyed. Unendingly. It's very brutal. It was very, it was very brutal. Oh, I saw somebody in chat bring up Pippa. Oh, should we take a break from the sector and the depressing people in the sector and talk about Pippa, oh, our little Pippas? Holy shit, Pippa, what have you been up to? What's your sub count now? Peppa Pipkin, let's go take a look. How far up have you gotten? Holy shit, Peppa's live. 260,000 subs, good God. The little rabbit's fucking exploding in popularity. 261,000 subs. I, wait a minute. Wait a minute here, rabbit. Now all the sexual degenerates in your audience got you to show feet at like 100,000 subs. Weren't you supposed to show your armpits at like 200? You're, you're, you're like 40,000 away from having to show your belly now. Pippa, where are Pippa's pits? Chat, Pippa lied to you. Pippa's sitting at 261,000 subs. Where's Pippa's pits? I demand you go to Pippa right now. <laughs> don't, don't just open up the stream and be like, where are, where are Pippa's pits, rabbit? You owe us. It's 260,000 subs. You promised us we're all freaky little degenerates. Not satisfied with just your feet. We want Pippa's pits and her tummy. What's going on here? Pippa, lying to your audience, promising them Pippa pits, never delivering. 260, god damn. You know, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if Pippa probably hits 300,000 by end of the year. It's probably like a half a million or a million subs by the end of next year. That VTuber shit's just exploding. Like, they all do crazy numbers. Very dedicated fan bases and everything. Well, as long as you're not lying to your little degenerates, promise some pits and you don't deliver. That's right, you go tell her. You go tell her. <laughs> I like to imagine they're like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> Who are all these perverts demanding my Being pits? Boys, <laughs> I'm going to go. Yeah, it's just nothing but people in their chat. I'm looking at the chat right now. It's just, where are your armpits, Pippa? Show us your pits, Pippa. <laughs> like, fucking Jesus confused. Christ. You guys are insane. <laughs>
I'm augmenting the Lord's worth of a panty at it. Five hundred thousand subscribers, man. Five hundred thousand. That wasn't the deal, Pippa. You lying fucking rabbit. That wasn't the deal. <laughs> the deal was uh, two hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand, maybe. Oh, oh, don't know scam. Push anybody at it. Pippa Pitts is a dono scam. What are you doing? Oh, I see the chats rising up demanding <laughs> rabbit armpits. When I need them. Pippa Jesus ain't gonna make me. Why am I <laughs> harassing this poor innocent rabbit? This poor innocent rabbit that's done nothing to anyone. Demanding this. They're so confused. What the fuck? <laughs> what, are these d what are these disgusting perverts demanding from me right now? It's terrible. Rabbit's trying to get out of it. I know what's up. I know what's up, Pippa. We all know. <laughs> can't lie to us. You can't lie to us, bro. We know what's going on. Oh, let me see here. You know, there's something else I was going to show, too. Let's see if I can find it on this specific account. God, there's so much of this now. It's actually... It's, Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. It's a little too much. Sorry, sorry, chat. One second. I'm looking for something specific. Uh, here we go. So, uh, apparently, after I just said, well, I'm going to take a small break here for a second. And uh, go wolf down that fucking McDonald's like a pig. I'm going to eat I'm going to eat food strangers gave me while you harass a rabbit. But while that's going on, uh, apparently I have a music career. I didn't know this. Maybe you maybe you did. Somebody's programmed a robot to start a musical career for me, and uh, they won't stop now. <laughs> they won't stop now. We've got a whole selection of music. Uh, Jimmy sings a whole bunch of fucking music, and it's just as bad as you can imagine. AI singing in my voice, which should never sing ever, ever. It should never fucking happen. But it, it's doing. It's Jim Core. You're correct. So I'm going to put that on as break music. We're going to take like a five-minute break here. Let me just do that. You know, I'm going to call it the singing robot break. <laughs> I think these should, these should play, hopefully, properly. Put the singing robot break on. There we go. I'm going to let you listen to the... He literally named his channel AI Garbage. By the way, if you want to check it out, it's AI Garbage. Which is a fitting fucking title, because it's me singing, which should never happen. So we've got a few choices here, but I love that crooner shit. I love that old-fashioned crooner music. So we've got a got a few different things here. We've got my way, kick in the head, crawl out of the fallout. So let's go with that one. Crawl out to the fallout, baby, when they drop that bomb. Crawl out through the fallout with the greatest of aplomb. When your white count's getting higher, hurry, don't delay. I'll hold you close and kiss those radiation burns away. Crawl out through the fallout, baby, to my loving arms. Think about your hero when you're at ground zero and crawl out to the fallout back to me. Crawl out to the fallout, baby, you know what I mean. Crawl out to the fallout, cause they said this bomb was clean. Cannot find the way, just listen for my song. I'll love you all your life, although that may not be too long. Crawl out to the fallout, baby, to my loving arms, while those ICBMs keep us free. When you hear me call out, baby, kick the wall out.
back to me. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? The room was completely black. I hugged her and she hugged back. Like the sailor said, won't, ain't that a hole in a bowl? My head keeps spinning. I go to sleep and keep grinning. If this is just a beginning, my life is gonna be beautiful. I'm sunshine enough to spread. It's just like the fella said. Count me quick, ain't love a kick in the hair. Fella once said, ain't that a kick in the hand? Like this sailor said, quote, ain't that a hole in the bowl? My head keeps spinning. I go to sleep again, grinning. If this is just the beginning, my life is gonna be beautiful. She's telling me we'll be wet. She's picked out a king size bed. I couldn't feel any better, or I'd be sick. Tell me quick, boy, love a king. Tell me quick, ain't got a kick in the head. Animaniac, totally insane, think he am the brainy. Animaniac, those are the facts. And now, the nations of the world, brought to you by Yakko Warner. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still, Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica, Belize, Nicaragua, Bermuda, Bahamas, Tobago, San Juan, Paraguay, Uruguay, Suriname, and French Guiana, Barbados, and Guam. Norway and Sweden and Iceland and Finland and Germany now home on peace. Switzerland, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Italy, Turkey and Greece. Poland, Romania, Scotland, Albania, Ireland, Russia, Oman. Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, Hungary, Cyprus, Iraq and Iran. There's Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Jordan, both Yemen, Kuwait and Bahrain. The Netherlands, Luxembourg, Belgium and Portugal, France, England, Denmark and Spain. India, Pakistan, Burma, Afghanistan, Thailand, Nepal, and Bhutan, Cambodia, Malaysia, then Bangladesh, Asia, and China, Korea, Japan, Mongolia, Laos, and Tibet, Indonesia, the Philippine Islands, Taiwan, Sri Lanka, New Guinea, Sumatra, New Zealand, then Borneo, and Vietnam, Tunisia, Morocco, Uganda, Angola, Zimbabwe, Djibouti, Botswana, Mozambique, Zambia, Swaziland, Gambia, Guinea, Algeria, and Ghana. Grande Lesotho and Malawi, Togo, the Spanish Sahara is gone. Niger, Nigeria, Chad and Liberia, Egypt, Benin and Gabon, Tanzania, Somalia, Kenya and Mali, Sierra Leone and Algiers, Dahomey, Namibia, Senegal, Libya, Cameroon, Tapu, Zahir, Ethiopia, Guinea, Bissau, Madagascar, Rwanda, Mayor and Cayman, Altala, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, Yugoslavia, Cremo, Antania, then Pennsylvania, Monaco, Lesage, then Malta and Palestine, Fiji, Australia, Sudan. Oh God, it's time for the sad one. Oh, it's the sad one. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel. I focus on the pain, the 
only thing that's real. The needle tears the hole. The old familiar stain. Try to kill it all away. But I remember everything. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Everyone I know goes away in the end. And you could have. I wear this crown of thorns upon my liar's chair, full of broken thoughts. I cannot repair beneath the stains of time. The feelings disappear. You are someone else. I am still right here. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Everyone I know. Oh, my God, it's so sad. The singing robot made me sad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, the singing robot. There's there's so many fucking songs. <laughs> there are multiple accounts doing it. <clears throat> so that was AI Garbage, uh, who I think is working on Ramarama, which, uh, fantastic choice, by the way. Fantastic choice. Uh, but there are, numerous, there are numerous fucking accounts that are doing it. I don't know why they're doing it. I don't want to, if I do too many of them, it'll become obnoxious. Uh, but there were some funny ones. There were some, there were some, there were some funny ones out there. There were some good ones out there. Some I haven't listened to. A lot of crooner shit, actually. Somebody did, oh, what was the fucking one that Ginger came out with? Remember, it was like um, a week or two. It's been like two, three weeks. The Ginger guy, the, the Richmond song. They they got the AI to do it in like a southern voice, so I've got like a drawl going on instead of my Minnesota accent, where I say things like "pop." It's a little more, a little more gingery, a little more southerny. Let me see if I can find that one. We'll 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 end it with that one. No more AI singing after that. But uh, is this like a competition now? <laughs> like, can we take his horrible voice and make him sing shit? Somebody did it with a Chinese Communist Party song, which is really wild. Uh, but I can't seem to find that one at the moment. It's somewhere out there, though. Okay, here we go. Here's the Richmond one. I promise you, chat, it's the last one. <laughs> I'm just really amused that somebody is training an AI to sing in this voice. Now, if you can take 
a picture of Haberman and make it like look like he's singing, we've got something. Because then forever, the legacy on the internet will be Haberman's for Medicare. And people will always think that's him singing these these AI songs. They'll think that Haberman, because he did a song. I don't know if you remember. All right, he's down with the clown and shit. But we've got a whole music catalog for him to really jump on. <laughs> okay, here's here's uh, Richmond of Richmond. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, right back home and down my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you. They shot to just wake up and it not be true. But it is, oh it is, living in the new world of God, with an old soul. The rich men, all oh, the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Want to know what you think, want to know what you do, and they don't think you know, but I know that you do, cause your dollar hates shit. And it's tax to no end. I was a rich man. No, I'm the rich man. Where's the politicians? Look out for miners. And not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street. Ain't got nothing to eat. And the whole beast milk and welfare. God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of butt drowned. Till men are putting themselves six feet in the ground. Cause all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me. People like you wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Want to know what you pay, want to know what you do, and they don't think you know. But I know that you do, cause your dollar ain't shit, and it's tied to no hand. I was a rich man, no, the rich man. Oh, there you go, Chad. There you go. We got we got songs. I got a whole music collection, my own discography. <laughs> I got a discography, and I've never sang in my life because I can't sing, but my robot can. My robot, my robot's got soul, old Confederate soul. Likes that Southern music, likes that crooner shit, some old-fashioned Johnny Cash, really pump some Animaniacs too. Just a you know a, a little bit of a curveball, throw it out there. You know you're not expecting it. Zigs when you're ready for it to zag. <laughs> uh, it's very nice. I, I, I actually, I, I had a lot of fun listening to it, to the multiple accounts that have like created this shit. I think that was uh, Kiri Ren was uh, the account on that one. So AI Garbage, Kiri Ren. There, there are multiple other ones too. I wish I could find the Communist Party song because it's in Chinese. It's actually, it's, it's so bad. It's in Chinese. It should never exist. Oh God! I get that. Now I, I need to find it. Now I need to find it. You need to fucking suffer with me. Do you want to hear Chinese Jimmy? <laughs> Do you want to hear Chinese Jimmy sing the the communist song? Oh, what is it called? Uh, oh, oh, wait, is this China or is this uh, North Korea? Red Sun in the Sky. Chat. What what is that? What is Red Sun in the Sky? What CCP song is that? Is it for China, or is that for North Korea? But it's pure Chinese. Oh, I'll get social credit, somebody said. We all love social credit. We all love social credit. Chinese. Okay. 
Uh, this account, of course, <laughs> Shinji from Evangelion. Of course. Why would you not choose that? It's a perfect... Of course. Okay, here we go. Here's the uh, Medicare AI bots version of Red Sun in the Sky. It's so bad. This is fucking awful. She hands on Taiyan from your phone, Tom Tom Me, Sing Tom B Taiyan, Sumao, the Dome, Haha, the Wombe, the Ting Epan Me, the Device and Dantia, the War Juden. Yeah, it's Leo, guy, at Lick of War, the Device and Dantia, the War Juden. She I think I think Vaush just orgasmed. <laughs> Can somebody uh, let me uh, clip this and then uh, attach that fucking horrible song to it. Vouch, I'm your biggest fan. I sang this song because I believe in everything you've ever said. Rise in, rise in power, my fellow CCP person. I love you, Vouch. There we go. That could be his ringtone. Now he can listen to that beautiful Chinese song in his mansion. <laughs> in his multi-million dollar mansion. He can, he'll love it. Vosh will love it. I don't know why this particular account does a lot of anime shit, too. Cruel Angel's thesis? Oh, that's that's seeming risky. That's seeming risky. And there's Baka Matai. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm punishing you now. You came out for a stream. What an asshole. This asshole who had those heart attacks. He makes us watch his fucking stream. And then he has robots sing Chinese shit at us for hours. I don't fucking understand it. I don't, I don't understand what's going on anymore. <laughs> why are, why are AI robots singing theme songs to Japanese animes at us and Chinese Communist Party songs? I don't. What the fuck is happening? Oh, suffer! What are you gonna suffer, chat? Uh, you know, I'll do, I'll do a poll. Why not? We got time to kill. Let's do a poll. Um. So what is it? Cruel Angel thesis. Or Baka Matai. Let's see. Let's what what abomination do you want to listen to next? Because somebody somebody spent time making it. Somebody spent time making it. I'll give you a minute to vote. See the, the correct the correct option was not voting, chat. That was the correct. Why are you voting? <laughs> it's a wrong choice. Okay. I see how it is. S Sussy Baka. I don't think that's, I don't know if that's the one out there. I'll give you a full, a full minute here. We'll give it an extra minute. So far, cruel angel thesis. I don't think you understand the pain you're fucking asking for. It gets worse when you put it in a foreign language. It gets so much worse. Stop the count. Okay, we're almost at uh, 4,300 votes here. When we hit five, uh, I'm going to call it. So far, Angel Cru or Cruel Angel Thesis is winning. Baka Matai, close second, but not, not really pulling it out. <laughs> oh, Masochist, true. Now, come on. You know what makes a good stream? Cringy shit. If Ethan Ralph can read out third grade poetry and not want to neck himself, I should be able to sit here and embarrass the shit out of myself with horrific fucking covers of foreign language songs 
sung by a robot that's meant to make fun of me. Okay. Wait, the, 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 the stop, uh, the count has been stopped. It's Cruel Angel Thesis. Prepare to fucking suffer. Without <laughs> so bad. Oh no, that's not. That would have been a nice one to cover from Inua or whatever it was. That whale song. Now that would have been a good one. It's like 42 minutes long, but it's good shit. I ended up watching that movie. Didn't even know what it was about. Starts off as this like very weird artistic thing, and then turns into like a extended music video. It's good shit though. Enjoyed it. Well worth the watch. Just for the uh, the two main, the, what is it, Thousand Arms and Whale Song? Good stuff. Let me weeb out a little. Uh, let me become a little bit of a man-child. I can't believe it. We've been streaming for two hours. That's two hours I've taken away from Todd's new space game. I think you get early access to today. I know IGN gave it a seven because it didn't have enough water or some shit. Because <laughs> you, can't, you can't walk on a gas giant. Apparently it's... Uh, it's got bad AI, bad aiming. I don't know. It's a what? What are we expecting here? It's Skyrim in space. You've got to you've got to give it a little time to adjust. Look at that water looking crisp. Here I am, being an asshole, making you listen to shitty AI covers of Japanese anime and communist songs when he could be out there wrangling people in space right now. I don't know, Chad. How how is the game treating you? Has anybody had a chance to play it? Is it out right now in early access? If you ordered the Super Duper Horse Armor Premium Pack, I just don't, I don't trust video game reviews from major outlets, so I don't, I don't know if I should, you know, like 90% of them say it's great, and then you got like four or five saying it's shit, so I don't know which way to go with this. Uh, people saying they're playing Armored Core instead. Can somebody explain to me how the fuck 30% uh, of people got filtered on Wall Climber? All you do is hover above the boss and shoot down. And <laughs> that's where the trophies stop. Like, it's just a huge reduction in the player base at that one particular boss. The first boss, really. I don't count the giant fucking uh, excavator you, you go against before that. But 30% filtered. It's, uh, it's kind of shocking, to be honest. Sorry, I'm talking about video games now. What am I doing? A lot of people playing Armored Core 6. Saw some Baldur's Gate in there. Blasphemous 2. Some good shit out there right now. Some enjoyable video games out there right now. Enjoying myself with some first-person shooters. In between my, uh, you know, arduous recording sessions in the studio, putting out that album takes a lot out of me. You know, with the help and just naturally takes a lot out of you. I've tricked you all into thinking it was AI. That's actually me. It's my beautiful voice. I'll be selling CDs next to hats uh, 12 months from now when my legs explode. God, it all comes back to you, doesn't it? You make short jokes, you become a manlet. Talk shit about Ethan Ralph's heart, have a heart attack. Now, I made a lot of fun of fucking uh, Dick Masterson's knees exploding. So God knows what's going to happen next. 
My kneecaps are going to fucking just uh, balloon out in little nuclear implosions. <laughs> They're going to take out the neighborhood. Because that's the irony that you get when you run your fucking mouth, Jimmy. When you run your dirty fucking mouth. Oh, what have we not covered? Got over some stuff. Talked about some fun stuff. Oh, should I shit talk a little bit of Mersh? What, what is there to sh Like, what do I say about Mersh? He's fat, and he, he literally lives in a room that's nothing but a green screen surrounded by cats. I think the toxoplasmosis has made him go insane. Is, do I have a Mersh clip lined up to go? There's always that kiddo one. But everybody's seen that so much. We need something a little more fun than the kiddo one. You're on a list now, kiddo. Oh, how about that time Mersh got drunk and um, got very upset people didn't want to play video games with him? He literally went on a fucking three-hour cry spree because somebody didn't want to be his video game friend. Have you ever encountered somebody like that in multiplayer? Like the person that wouldn't leave you alone? Or they're just really fucking weird? They didn't give him enough respect, so he starts drinking from the bottle, crying about it? Why won't you be my COD teammate? Why won't you fucking love me? I'm a nice guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, we could go with that clip. Yes, let's let's go with that clip. I think it's a couple minutes long. It's not too bad. Hey guys, um, so this guy's being mean to me. <laughs> oh, everything just from the from the jump. I love this clip. This guy's being mean to me. Looks right into the camera like he's expecting you're gonna reach out and fix it for him. I'm being bullied. In a video game on the internet. I'm being fucked with. Somebody help. And this guy said I was... Cl Here's why we're here, folks. He said I was... He said we were clout chasing him. I think that, that might have hurt his feelings. I don't think the guy was wrong. Now, this was a dude on Twitch with like 10 people watching. And normally you'd say, who would clout chase somebody with 10 viewers? But we're talking about Mersh here. So that's like eight more viewers than he's used to. So, I mean, the guy probably was kind of right. So now, this fucking guy rejected our love. Rejected our love. We're just trying to be nice. I we were so nice! He was such a nice guy. Chat. So nice! I like how he gets that, uh, like, 70-year-old well, woman from Brooklyn voice when the facade breaks. <laughs> He's been rejected. He just turns into an old Jewish woman from the Bronx. Be nice. I we were so nice! I am so mad at this guy right now. Look, a, oh, I'm sorry. Let me get rid of the little dancing pudding. You can't appreciate this if he's in the way. I want you to look just how many sh <laughs> perfect freeze frame. Look how fucking his eyes go into nine different directions. He's turning beet red. I'm the motherfucker having the heart attacks. He looks like he's the one actually having them physically. His body is shutting down at the rejection. So mad at this guy right now. I need this man ruined. <laughs> Can you destroy this teenager in this video game on Xbox Live needs to be destroyed. He will not be my teammate. Dealing with some tax stuff. I don't even have to report Twitch to the IRS. We were so nice. Yeah, it'll be fun. Everybody should just report his channel now because he's like getting everybody to target a fucking a poor a poor guy who was nice to him. I tried to be nice. Chat, he was trying to be nice. Okay, he was he was desperately trying to be nice. I was saying it was a Nick Fuentes joke. Relax. Literally, everybody's going, no gay. I'm like literally doing a Nick Fuentes joke, you fucks. Jesus. This entire thing started with a genuine attempt of us being nice. I was mad when you called me Bush League, Bush League and Lightweight. And now <laughs> I'm going to show you how Bush League I am, homie. 
Yeah, no, you did this. You did it to yourself. You did it to yourself. Yeah, no, you're right. Don't take any personal responsibility. Just be nice to us when we load. That's literally what I said, right, Virgin? I said, hey, can you just be nice to us when we load in? Like, like trying to be nice. Could you please stop headshotting me every time I come into the multiplayer game? Could you be nice? I'm old and my reflexes are shit. And uh, my geriatric hands can't work. I've got T-Rex arms. And, uh, you know, I'm being so nice right now. And you just keep shooting me. We, we gotta get this guy. He needs to he needs to know that he's the cloud chaser. Man, you guys are really mean to people. Well, why I, you, I'm why nice. Are you, why are you so, why are you, oh, oh, I'm nice, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, he's love security yeah somebody, go, somebody go to this guy's stream and be like, you called him a cloud chaser when he was trying to be nice to you. Like, what did you expect? Like, right. like he was being nice to you. I was being nice to this guy. The only reason this stream is happening right now is because I was being nice to him. <laughs> he literally starts this stream to cry about not having friends in multiplayer. Amazing. <laughs> I literally started this stream because you wouldn't be my online video game friend. That is some clingy shit, bro. That is some that is some desperation. I could smell it. It's just waft. He probably was scared. It's like this guy's probably fucking stalking me or something. I was so nice to you. You owe me. You little slut. <laughs> you little slut with your sniper rifle. I was being so nice. Why can't he be nice to me? Why can't he? Why does he always have to attack me? Dr. Mersh, I showed you my medical records. Where's my happy birthday song? In fact, am I not owed one? I mean, I'm looking at it. Looking real to me. Lots of lots of documentation there. Where is my birthday song? Three years of being wrong. My little pudding wants a birthday song. Now, don't worry if you don't want to do it. I'm sure somebody could train an AI. <laughs> I'm sure somebody could train an AI to make you sing me happy birthday, whether you want to or not. If I'm doing Animaniac covers and Johnny fucking Cash... I think we can get a uh, fits everyone happy birthday song from Mersh. He's wrong so much. He was wrong about porcelain. Said he's going to get 25,000 views on his documentary. I think he's at like a quarter of a million at this point. I'm getting me that birthday song. Sticks ain't the only one. I'm getting my happy birthday song from Mersh for being so, so wrong. Oh, hey, that rhymed. Ralph, write that down for the next poem you send your wife on the internet. <laughs> Write that down. It kind of, it kind of, it's good enough for you. It works enough for you, buddy. We could, we could, we could send that with, the, she won't know what it's about. It won't make any sense. But does that matter? Just end it with uh, a, a bish. Just a nice bish should do it. <laughs> oh. All right, we've got. Lots of super chats. Lots of shit to read. Of which there's no way in hell I can read it all. So I'm going to start just jumping through it. I'm going to read things. Just tons of things. Funny things. Unfunny things. I'm just going to pick at random. But I've got to go to the bottom here. And try to, you know, actually read this shit. I've got an excuse, though. I'm special needs now. So you can't fucking bully me. <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm, I can say it. I'm tarted. Because I'm tarted. I get special treatment now. I get a nice little, I get a nice little handicap uh, parking thing. No, I have that by the way, and I love that. There's nothing better than giving a handicap or a handicap parking sticker to a dude who's losing sensation in his legs and letting him drive. Real smart decision by the state. It's a good idea. <laughs> I drive behind people. We've got little stickers that say "baby on board," and I'm like, really? Do you think you're gonna make it to the school? Do you think my little broken legs are gonna stop in time? Is, is Jimmy's numb little feet going to be able to hit that brake pedal? I don't know. It's a gamble. It's a gamble, but I got this little sticker that says I can give it a shot. Terrible. Terrible. That's not funny, James. How can he make jokes about that? Easily. Very easily. Let me just, just adjust some things here. 
We'll do super chats. I'll read some super chats for like a half an hour here. I'll give it my best. There we go. Put that. Uh, uh, that works. For those of you that came out, uh, there's your update stream. Uh, two hours of nonsense. I know I didn't get to the Ali Alexander time traveling pedophile uh, clip. I'm very sorry about that. It is out there somewhere. I'm sure you can find it on Twitter. Somebody will post it or it'll be up on YouTube. Um, he is batshit insane. Uh, that's not allegedly. He is insane. I'll say that. That's not, There's no allegedly with that. Uh, now, time traveling, I'm 50-50 on. And then, of course, the child molestation, uh, grooming uh, allegations from Milo. I'll have to put allegedly. I'll wrap that in a bow tie of allegedly. Because, again, I don't want him digging me up to sue me. <laughs> We're just going to have to go with that one. Well, let's, uh, we'll do our super chats. But everybody else coming out, thank you. Uh, I'll probably, I don't expect this is like a one-off stream. I'm literally doing it to sell enough hats to do uh, some unexpected costs uh, around the home. Put up some banisters, do that kind of shit. So Jimmy can poop in peace. <laughs> so he can waddle around the house like a cripple. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe maybe seven months from I, I really don't know where this is going. I, I am going to put up um I'm not I'm not joking about this, but eventually a uh, crowdsource diagnosis video. I'm just gonna put medical records up. And maybe one of you autistic fucks out there who uh who reads too much shit for your own good will be like, I know what it is. At this point, it's probably too late, but just knowing what it is would be fantastic after wasting years on this shit. Just to have somebody throw it out there. Had people put suggestions out before. Somebody put out, um, what was that fucking King's disease? The one that makes you piss purple? I can't remember the name of it. But I remember asking a doctor, it's like, is it worth testing for this? And he's like, yeah, there's actually a version of that that kind of matches up with your shit. It's not a bad idea. Of course, it uh, turned out not to be that, uh, but it was a good guess. So I, I look forward to one of you uh, amazing little doctor houses out there figuring this out for me when I throw that video up. Uh, but aside from that, I'm just going to go back to shitposting, uh, watching anime, uh, reading manga, and then just, I guess, waiting for my heart to explode fully <laughs> or whatever catastrophic shit's coming down the pipeline. I don't know. But that is what life is. You got to roll with the punches. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let me put this up. There we go. Super chats. Now you're aware. We're past. Oh, it's not even doing it properly. I don't have the aspect ratio properly. I updated OBS, and it fucked up some of my stuff. That's uh, it's a bit tragic, but whatever. Uh, thank you for coming out, chat. Uh, the rest of you, I'm sure, will uh, pop off now that it's super chat time. Run to play. Uh. Todd's new Skyrim in space video game. Or maybe you go bully Peppa Pipkin and make her show Peppa's pits because she promised you at 250,000 subs she'd do that. That lying rabbit. Terrible. Shameful. And I thought we could trust VTubers. I thought they were the future. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? just uh, smoke my cigarette here and eat the uh, unidentifiable McDonald's dropped off by a total stranger. I'm sure it's going to do real good. I'm sure it's going to do real good. All right, let's 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 jump into some of these. Uh, from Chris the Narc, Return of the King. Glad to have you back, Jim. The internet hasn't been the same without you. Uh, sadly, I'm not back. That's <laughs> probably the last time, uh, but we'll see. Uh, from Rocks, our hat merchant is returned. Uh, much power to you, Jimbo. You've missed, uh, or you missed by many. James Smith, your hat is a new BBC documentary on Tate, the clip on Rudd Rovney on X. Love your streams, man. Maybe hit up Bill Gates to upgrade your meat suit into your PC. From Adentum, I hate to hear why you came back, Jim, but I'm thrilled to see you again. Your streams have been a highlight of the week and month countless times throughout the years. Uh, well, uh, hopefully you had a, a nice little giggle today <laughs> as we talked about stupid shit. From It's a Small Girl. After spending uh, money on the merch store, love the Halloween designs, by the way. Had to come by and say thank you again for all the current amusements and past archives that continue to bring joy. I pray for your uh, recovery, and God bless. Well, thank you. Thank you for reminding me to shill the shit out of my merch store. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot to do that. 
Uh, lesson three. Hey, Jim. I'm a 20-year-old with lymphoma and now in remission. Your stuff has always been pretty good, but thank you for introducing me to Murdoch Murdoch. It's the best. Uh, Murdoch Murdoch is fucking amazing. It's good stuff. From Virtue. Hey, Jimothy. Glad you're back from getting milk. Oh, well, you know, it took a while. From C. Hey, Jim. Hope you're in good spirits, all things considered. Sorry. Uh, dragged you out here once again. I hope you at least had some fun tonight. Strongly recommend the summertime rendering anime. Take care. All the best. GG Jade on the new rebuild design. Actually, I just got done... Uh, re-watching the first season of Shadow House. Uh, and I'm going to watch Shadow House season two uh, because that just came out. Or it's like all, it's all packaged together. So I can watch all, what is it, like 12 episodes a season? <clears throat> From Ocean Redux, I'd say welcome back, but I just so happened to show up randomly today too online after someone texted me. On a side note, are you enjoying the Trump mugshot? Also, even if you leave the internet, remember, you're always Sweetie Squad, it's inescapable. Uh, yes, I did see the Donald Trump uh, mugshot and uh, the 48 fake AI ones <laughs> that came out before it, which were fucking great. From Tradeca 13 my fiance and I are making a wedding zine comic to give to our guests, and I would love to commission some art from Jade of a pudding-style cake, the back cover, and stickers. Uh, left some contact deals. Welcome back. Uh, well, I will pass along the message. Uh, from Walter Deadman. It's nice to see you uh, stream from the Golden Throne and keep chaos at bay. I look forward to seeing that uh, huge, uh, <laughs> that hog Nurgle holler. More welcome back from Jay Kenny. Oh, see, you almost got me. I almost did it, but see, then I read ahead and I didn't. From Errant Vice, James Drake from Union Bridge is an enjoyer of men, comma, as a man. May you live forever, our favorite weatherman. From Machiavelli 13, amen, Jim, amen. I prayed for you. Well, thank you. Ocean Redux again. I'll say it one more time, just as a warning, if you get roasted and you have trouble leaning into it, being roasted, just leave the internet. It's soul cleansing. I promise it works. Also, never forget, even in 2023, chat always wins. Sweetie Squad, rise up. From Porcelain, <laughs> Mersh owes the IRS thousands of dollars is in poverty. He spent this August looking fatter and bolder than ever. He succumbed fully to debilitating alcoholism and drug abuse. He's openly and unironically discussing suicide. Anyway, here's 50. <laughs> Has Mersh been having a tough... See, all I knew outside of Mersh was him just, for whatever reason, going right back into the, uh, the, the Jim's got fake cancer thing. Which he seems really... Ass I don't know what I did to hurt this man. <laughs> Maybe uh, there was a multiplayer game in my past where I was supposed to be his teammate and I didn't, and that's what's doing it. I'm not sure. From Trucker Rob, ate the same without you, Jim. Hope this helps. From uh, WD Jim, if you manage to stream monthly, I guarantee the Sweet Squad will more than likely or will more than cover your medical expenses. Uh, miss you, big guy. Uh, well, I appreciate the uh, sentiment. Uh, I don't plan on streaming beyond this, and it's uh, more to the fact that I had unexpected costs from literally having my back disintegrating on me. Uh, osteoporosis sucks apparently. And uh, fragility fractures, I didn't even know that was a thing. But after having my ribs go shit on me and now my back, not fun. Not fun. From Mythos Infinite, uh, you shifty hole, you had the perfect exit, now you got to go and ruin it by being alive. I know you hate to be it, but you've been an ill-advised role model in my life since high school, so take my hard-earned money and try not to let super cancer get you this time. I'm, I'm fighting it. From Clay Pigeon 162 Here's some money to put Dead Man Switch on Jade's cage. Bradford Mitchell, drink bourbon. It's the real medicine. <laughs> they have me, uh, in all seriousness, they have me on so many fucking heart meds. I don't know what the effect of liquor or any kind of uh, illegal substance would be, but I probably got to, you know, I look like, okay, let me, I want to make sure I get the right name here. Because one of them's a bitch and the other is a purple. <laughs> Hold on. No, it's not Veronica. Veronica Veronica was, was the bitchy girl. What was the name of the other one? Oh, it was Violet. Violet Beauregard. Am I saying that? Uh, Violet. You know Violet from Willy Wonka? That's about what it looks like. They've got me on this Brilenta and all this other blood thinner shit. All bruised all over. The demon's got me swollen. I look like I've turned into a blueberry bitch. Again, it's karma. If you remember those DeviantArt videos I did, where I made fun of blueberry bitches, it was like episode one or two. I am now the blueberry bitch. 
I have transformed into a blueberry bitch. <laughs> With all the bruises and the weight gain. Big old blueberry bitch chip. Singing his su uh, southern country songs, pretending it's AI because he's too embarrassed to tell you the truth. Sad. Absolutely tragic. From Joe Master 575 Hey there, Jim. So glad you're back, even if it's just for one video. Hope you get better in the future. I'm rooting for you. Well, thank you. Cerebral Parasite, Jim, I figured it out. You've got polio. It would explain why your middle leg is so short. Oh, you got me. From Ashton's Tapeworm, apparently he's learned to type. You need to hold Pippa to doing the Starfish stream when she hits 300K. She can't deny Papa Jim's dying wish. Well, she's over. Pippa is behind on like 48 different uh, benchmarks now. From Fuck, and I don't know how you got the username, but good job. No rejected your grooming out of a gay sexual frustration. Say the funny word for melanin. Oh, I wish I could. From fuck again, pull up crazy justice. Is that another AI thing? I, I think I butchered that so much, the audience would fucking hate me. From Phoebe, here's a little something to help you with your cancer aids. I'm glad you returned to groom us some more. Daddy Jim, peace to you. Love you, sir. From Kaloon, glad to see you're not dead. AF Chuds, well, I just have to wait longer. And then are you? From Justin Roiland. I guess my Justin Roiland handle doesn't work in Super Chats. Cringe. Well, it did. I just read it. From Wormgot. Hey, Jim. Glad to see you're not dead. Was hoping you could play uh, could play on stream the video Fastest Hot Dog Shooter. Why does that sound like a softcore porn? From Kessel's Keep. Sweetie Squad OG. Give this man money. Caesar TS. Jim, never ever buy a Baldo unlike your fellow Minnesotan. Oh, that is true. I have not bought any Baldos. From Liquid Ricky. Glad to see the Chud energy still shining in you, weatherman. I'd love to dunk on Gen Z's Ross and say, the white bowser you are to Petita. From uh, Razor987, which two locals would you like to see box next? Well, oh, my God. Oh, you crippled old man. You, you pulled the fucking plug out there for a second. Oh, audio went to shit. Look at what you all fucked up on goofballs, old man. Uh, which two celebrities would I want to watch box? I mean, we saw the Wings versus Boogie fight where Wings dominated him. I mean, Boogie threw one punch, I think. And I don't even think that was a punch. I think he was trying to, like, push away. <laughs> He's trying to push away Boogie's hand from hitting him again. So I don't know if we can we can even count that as a technical fight. Oh, no, we're, we're back, Chad. We're bad. It's just, that's my accent. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, what a tragedy. Oh, the fucking volume cord got pulled out. Oh, God. Oh, whoops. Oh, I guess, I guess we got to end it there, everybody. Oh, what a tragedy. Accidents happen, everyone. Accidents happen. From uh, Michelle Craig. Uh, here's a little something to mend your broken heart, Jim. Sleepy hazard. Here's some cigarette money for your favorite hat merchant. Good luck on reopening the merch store, by the way. I'll be sure to buy as many hats as my parents' credit card can max out. Uh, best uh, wishes, Sleepy. From Laparty, I wish you the best, mate. Thank you for the laughs. From Aunt Haggis, buy one cigarette from a homeless guy with the cash. Well, see, I'm I'm working my way to quitting because I, I have no choice at this point. All the healthy living advice. When you, when you have a heart attack, they give you a pamphlet of all the shit they want you to do. So I've got to do cardio rehab three days a week, which I think is less rehab and more. They just want to see what your heart's doing. It's like trying to get like a, 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 a longitudinal study or whatever it's called. Uh, but then, you know, of course, quitting smoking, which I've done pretty remarkably. Are you talking to a guy that would smoke like a pack and a half, two packs a day? I was a chain smoker down to about four or five using the patches. I'll eventually get off of it. And then, of course, they don't want you to have any caffeine, which is a real pain in the ass. So it's a lot of water and a lot of shitty uh, replacement drinks that are like carbonated but not caffeinated and uh, don't have sugar, which is just awful. Just terrible. So I don't know if I should be buying those smokes. I should be running for the hills in the opposite direction. From Celius, glad to see another stream from you. Even though the circumstances suck, if you really need super berries, maybe a cripple fight with Donga. Oh, it could be the, the battle of the wheelchairs. Mario Carter 13, a dollar for every foot of your current height, and he donated four dollars and ninety nine cents. We're getting there. We're getting there. Autism forums simply laughing at me as I'm shrinking, literally shrinking. Ryan Acorn, 
sell me a hat merchant i'd make my contribution to the medicare fund well everybody loves my glorious hats as you can see there's the shopify store uh go ahead feel free to pick it up uh k vibes i love you jim here's some super berries i pray for you every day we've missed you terribly well thank you for the sentiment uh leather collar hey jim sending you all the best and i hope this helps a little hope jade's doing okay as well throughout all this sending you well wishes from australia from nyla moon glad to see another stream by you jim we've got one from metal hattie hey jim thank you for all the entertainment throughout the years you've inspired me to get into streaming can you say metal hattie you are being rated please metal hattie you are being rated look you don't even need here's the thing i, I know there was a, a point in time where you would need to give like a super chat or get a lot of attention in chat to get a streamer to say something but we live in the AI, or we live in the age of ai you don't need to do that anymore you can literally make a bot do whatever you want metal hattie you can make that bot say anything they have me singing communist party songs <laughs> you could you could make uh, ai jim say whatever you want and then play it on stream and be like can you believe this guy said this shit and I have no defense against it. I'm just a helpless little baby. From uh, Joe K. Ving. Welcome back, gamer. Ice Mexican. I have cancer aids and I can't sneed. From Dejection. Hey, Jim. Watch for years. First time donating. Hope you don't die before you can use my shekels. Got one from uh, Kex Hex. Glad to see you back, Jim. Out of curiosity, what is your favorite video or project you've worked on over the years? What one did I have the most fun on? Uh... Probably something like, um, I don't know, like, I, I like covering events or weird communities. So stuff like Tumblr and DeviantArt were fun. Uh, the ones that, the video that bothered me the most or the person that I covered that bothered me the most would have been that fucking dentist. Uh, the one that would operate on kids without using Novocaine, but then charge the insurance company for Novocaine. So he'd have all like these like eight-year-olds show up in his dental office and then convince the parents they needed to have a ton of extractions and implants put in. And then strap the kid down and say they were going to anesthetize them and never do it just to make a few extra bucks. And then he got away with it because he, he said he was insane, so he couldn't be held accountable for it. And they let him walk. So he was never held accountable, uh, to my understanding. Never went to jail. I don't think he lost any civil suits. But he tortured a ton of fucking kids. Uh, that one bothered me, so uh, it was one that I enjoyed making, talking about him. Because he kind of like slipped through the cracks. It was weird. Arcade Outpost. Rip David Stay. NationalJusticeParty.com. Hail our people. Hail NJ, or NJP. Uh, that's right. I forgot. David Stay passed away. That's fucking tragic. Fuck. Now you made me sad. You know what? Let me. I'm going to pull a picture of him up here. One second, chat. You know what? I'm going to take this, uh, take this, uh, no, 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 leave that up, pull that down. We're going to put a picture of David up. Talk about David for a minute. Uh, there we go. David Say, by the way, was Mandar. Uh, that was from Photon. Uh, tragically, he passed away. That's really fucking sad, actually. Uh, let's put his picture up here take a break from super chats for a minute you know what let me i'm gonna see can I, people did some really great like david stay remixes let me see if i can find one let me see if i can find one fuck i wish these still are up one second chat Oh, the photon pill. I think this shit. I think this is it. You know what? In memory of David, it's a bit long, but you know what? I don't give a shit. We're going to interrupt Super Chats. I can be a whore uh, anytime, but I, I actually really like David. I liked him as a person. Um, he was a really fun fucking dude, and he was a really laid back guy, and you know what? We're going to take a minute and just we're going to remember David. Okay. <laughs> you heard me. The TV would go off at night. All right. That's my generation. Let's get Photon Hill. Show. Photon. 
about David Stay and Mandar, okay? <laughs> you heard a few of those streams. This is what occurred. I was making, a, I was always making movies since I was like 18 years old with my family making movies. To bring people back up to speed, to understand what you're about to get into. Before there was time, there was... Here we go. I was really serious about, you know, making quality out of nothing. And all I, I don't even know how I came up with the idea. Oh, hello. Hey, what's going on, my brother? <laughs> I got you. Hello, everybody. It was just continuity shit. Hey, I'm up against half a million dollar films. <laughs> right? Give me a little, uh, well, fuck all your minds up. But I've been being abducted since I was a kid. To this day. All I heard was this. And for all of you... Let's uh, let's get some 07s for David. And I looked up, I said, what the fuck did he just say that for? Oh, I was peeing blood, man. That's Gorilla Filmmaker Valley. Wow. Corn by the CIA. I'm hanging. It's just you and me and whoever wants to chime in. How the fuck did that happen? I'm the old Marquero. Crazy. Show from you, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have it. It's gonna be live. I'm gonna do it. One man show, one night only. We're gonna get the brain a little bit. I've gotta download this stream and then run for coffee. The audience is gonna be the fucking show. And it's gonna be out of control. NBC, the Illuminati. They run it all. You live in a fucking Matrix, kid. It's a TV show. Journalists look wherever they're fucking pussies. It's an incestuous group that just has been doing this shit for thousands of years. They're trying to divide and fucking conquer. You're too busy looking at your fucking phone. They want your head broke. It's in plain. You're all done as shit. That's a fucking problem. Fuck all you people. You don't know anything but what you've been fucking doing. Everything you've been told is a hot damn lie. That's all they do to you. They, they don't give a fuck about you. They, they laugh at you. I, I hear that. I had no sense of harm, by the way. Maybe there's one more day in my world. Okay. I just buried my father. October, I love that man. He was the greatest man I ever met. I'm telling you this right now. You're gonna lose your minds, some of you, okay? That's the game. See, do not look up to any A-list celebrity. They're all fucking demons, I give you my word. Wake your fucking asses up. You best believe. What do you think this whole LGBT, I don't know who the fuck I am society came from? 63 fucking genders. All these people with their political shit and Trump and this, that. You're a slave to punishment, but you just don't see it. You people think you have a fucking vote, you dumb as shit. They want you to suffer, number one. They feed off the vibration. These people drink fucking blood, they kill fucking babies, jokes about the devil and shit from the horns, and they put it in your face, Bob, Bill, and they mock you. Ah, that is how What the fuck is that? <laughs> Look, I'm nobody. It's all under one fucking blanket. It's a machine. Let the darkness Trillions of dollars from you. You think you live in a free country? You want to get into MK Ultra? I don't know if the audience is familiar with that. MK Ultra from the 50s. Mind control. You're slaves. You're all fucking slaves to the system. The programming. They're not going to just slam it on you overnight. No, they're going to sell it up. You're going to put it in a movie. They're going to put it in everything you fucking say. It's called pre-programming. Getting ready. Getting ready for it. Man, I still remember that stream. I still remember doing that stream. You know, when I when I came out to do that stream with uh, Mandar, right, uh, people didn't know what to expect. They were expecting just a, a typical, like, oh, you know, he was like this celebrity, he did this TV show. You know, I, I had a chance to talk to him ahead of time, and uh, he was into the wildest stuff, man. Like, he would talk about 
it was like talking to the export on 4chan in person. Like he was so plugged into that shit. And some of the stuff he said, you listen to at the time, you'd be like, oh man, he's, he's so nuts. He's, he's talking about like your votes don't matter and stuff like that. And then you have the election that comes up and uh, he talked about stuff like all the celebrities in Hollywood have to wear dresses. All the men have to do like uh, rituals and the women have to be like, you know, uh, sex toys. Like every, all the crazy stuff he brought up, like it started like falling into place. And, uh, you know, I, I miss the fact that I'll never get to interview him again. Uh, he's a super nice guy, nicest guy you'd ever meet. Sit there and shoot the shit with you. Did his streams, very laid back. Uh, it's real sad that he's gone. So, uh, rip, rip, David. Oh, people want the link. Uh, the name of the video, if you want it, it's nine minutes long. I cut it off about halfway through. It's the Photon Pill featuring Mandar, David Stays, and Mr. Mug, Meringue Bad. And the YouTube channel is Digital Realm of Nothingness. And that's where you can find it. Somebody had a copy up. There were a couple of these that people made, like Supercuts of David, uh, from the stream and from other streams. They, like, were really good. I'm glad one of them is still up there. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's fucking sad that, uh, that he's gone. From Leather Collar, uh, one more for the road. We've got uh, Uriah of the House Right. Nice to see the goat himself back from the dead. From Sleuth, can't wait for a Jim GPT streams. Stop dying, Jim, please. From Theron Sankar, hey, Jim, good to hear you. After all these years, I was going through a dark time, and you cheered me up with the crazy Ross saga, which God knows if he's in a preschool or another halfway home. I'm still going through a lot, but I'm happy you're back. Uh, glad I could help. And I don't know what happened to Ross. I know that he went to some kind of care facility. And um, that's like where I lost track. It's been years. You'd have to you'd have to ask somebody that followed more closely. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know where he is. He could be on the streets. Like Chris Chan. I, that was the other big breaking news I probably should have mentioned on stream chat. Uh, Chris Chan was let go. Uh, I believe the charges were dropped. See, what I think happened is... Um, Chris would have ended up getting a jail sentence of a guilty conviction equal to the amount of time he already served waiting to go to trial. Because he was in jail for like, what, two years? So I think they were like, just, just fuck it. There's no point in wasting state money going through with it. And so they let him go. Not that I agree with the decision, but that's my understanding of it. So Chris Jan is out and about walking the streets. Free, free to do as they want, ripping the arms off Sonic, uh, uh, posters everywhere, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I don't know. No, nope, hold on, chat froze on me there for a second. Zap to the extreme. Oh, he's zapping all right. From Bobby Johnson, the milk has curdled a bit, but I'm happy you're back. From Not Ben Hirsch, hope you're recovering well, mate. From Lex, get well soon. If not, here's some LEDs for your urn. Well, it'll be the fanciest urn around. From Zombie Chicks, thanks for the surprise stream. From Tiger Slash 2, uh, Dad, next time, bring back enough cigarettes for everyone. Uh, we all know kids love those cigarettes. From Mirlo Williams, Sweeties, do, you civ or do your civic duty and buy two hats. Good to have you back, boss, our perpetually dying favorite weatherman and hat merchant. Hope this dono staves away AIDS for another day. Uh, hopefully. From Sovereign, welcome home, Cancer Man. We have missed you. I bought yet another tiny hat in your honor, Sweetie Squad for life. And we've got some numbers there that will get me in trouble. Evil Bunny, Pay Pig Bunny, a dedicated railing to me. By the way, love the Todd reply to me on post. Seriously, hope this helps. Uh, well, thank you very much. From Chorgan Scorehammer, thank God for AI program and for Jade flipping the switch. From J Fox, I like the hats. Well, I'm, I'm glad to oblige. Everybody loves a fantastic hat. <clears throat> From Rocket Insano, four out of five artificial individuals recommend you don't watch this stream. Let's go. Thanks, Jim Dude. Thanks for everything. You're the goat. Uh, the most of the most and whatever other gay shit I can think of. Godspeed, my dude. I'm going to go buy a hat. Well, thank you very much. To Segoy for you. Jim, you're Chudmas Maximus, and I've been bullying Hoteps in your honor. Glad to see you're back, even if it's for a short time. From the Fresh Prince, Noctis. One dollar for each one K of us to witness special Jim's resurrection extravaganza. From Mental Crackdown, the legend lives. Edward Nigma. Still on those coffin hills, Jimmy, here's a pack of camels on me. From Caesar TS, Jim, they may have to check for brain parasites. 
True story, some woman was having weird symptoms for years. After a brain bi biopsy, they found literal brain, <laughs> literal brain worms that are only found in large snakes. Uh, I don't think I have brain worms. Uh, they, they've, uh, again, are very confused as to what exactly the core uh, prime mover of this is. Uh, but they're pretty sure it's not fungus, it's not brain worms or parasites. Uh, though a couple did bring up toxic stuff. Maybe it's like a, some kind of poisoning or uh, like a toxin or a heavy metal. So I'm sure they'll check that out. I fucking no idea what would... Uh, the, maybe the person we bought the house from was fucking insane and buried shit in the walls. I don't know. <laughs> I, maybe I'm sitting under like a fucking uh, metric ton of toxic shit. I have no clue. From Michael uh, Kurza, uh, God sent Jim back to us. Uh, Matt Gilbert, thanks for the last cancer man. Buy yourself something. From Mr. Misanthropic, uh, here's another pack of smoke since you're clearly immortal at this point. From Max Cowgill, here's some shekels so you can go see a chiropractor, Jim. I heard there's a height requirement to get into heaven. Well, I'm fucked then. I'm the slowly shrinking Jimmy. From David Davidson, a question for Mr. Internet Afghanistan. Who has been your favorite fallen empire and why? My favorite fallen empire and why? I don't know. You're asking me all these. And I, I'm all doped up on narcotics. You're asking me serious questions. What what kind of answer am I going to give to you? Uh, my favorite fallen empire is the Magic the Gathering set that came out right after uh, the dark, because it had shit. It had shit cards. There you go, David Davidson. How do you like that answer? How do you like that? That's a shitty answer, isn't it? From Bosk, for the Cancer Fund, thanks for the last Daddy Jim. Up, uh, Brad. See, I love you, Jim. Please don't die. I'll, I'm trying my best here. From Dance God, for your own sake, sit outside and listen to the Tao Te Ching audiobook at least once. Love you, Jim. You brought me genuine joy over many years. Now, I couldn't pronounce that right, but I bet my AI bot could. Maybe I can have him read it to me. God, wouldn't that be wild? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get the AI bot to read me this audiobook. Then it's like I'm reading it myself. From Space Trains, Jim's ability to laugh at other people's misfortunes can make me uncomfortable, but now I know he also finds his own misfortune hilarious. Oh, well, there is a bit of humor in it. <laughs> yeah, you can't have a stick too far up your ass. I, I literally can't. I've taken so much abuse, I don't think I can handle a stick up there. <laughs> uh, Shadow Fox 24, you take a lick it and keep on ticking, at least the list doesn't include er erectile dysfunction. From Hone More 2525, now that you're short enough to be a real leprechaun, you just need a pot of gold. Well, if I sell some fucking hats, let me just throw that up there again. I'll try, I'll try to sell enough hats to buy a stick of gold and put it in a pot. From Dodgeman, damn it, Jim, I told you not to mess with the Ralpha mail. Now look, it's a Ralpha curse. I made fun of his poetry, now I gotta die. From Maya Chavez, get better, Jim. Keep you in prayers. The world needs clowns, so keep fighting and laughing. From Anti Annihilator 5000 for the headphone funds. From Fighting Finn, Reed Smith Wigglesworth. From Dan Helen, Jim has returned to replace Donovan. From Skinhead Stan, Jim, it's clear your health troubles are caused by your continued consumption of the pinky paint thinner Karkov. Please take the money and buy some Finlandia, Hussar, or Grey Goose. Repent and save yourself, Jim. Well, you know, listen, uh, I can't really enjoy drinking anymore, but I stand by what I said. If you're going to drink to get drunk, you might as well just get to the point. Sitting around sipping on expensive shit or uh, beers never really made sense. Karkoff is horrific. It's fucking paint thinner, yes. But it's very effective. Another one uh, there uh, from the NNRU. From from Anti Annihilator 5000. Uh, Anderson Paladin, give me a thumbs up. Thank you. From Lester Johnson, thank you for all the laughs, Jim. Best of luck in your future endeavors. From Beast Mode, how is it possible that every time I hear your voice, you're telling us more and more insane shit? Well, that's the fun of the internet, is usually finding the insane shit. From Don Camillo, I've been sitting here ungroomed for nine months. Uh, motherfucker, groom me, Daddy Jim. Groom me. From Isaac Johnson, this is for your next pack of smokes. From Nobody of Consequence, welcome back. The sick person smell sucks, especially when I was the one making it. See, there we go. Somebody somebody can appreciate that part of the story. From uh, me, fur, 
six. It looks like that head trauma was worse than I thought because it looks like Jim is back. From Richard, Jim, I thought you were dead. On my way there, Jim. <laughs> Just taking some time. Ultimate dude respecter, Patrick S. Thompson is uh, fat. And apparently had to pay $32,000 in a court order. Did he have to sell his motorcycle? I kind of paid attention to it. From Phineas Kingslayer. Sorry to hear about your poor luck and your health, but it does seem to have dampened, or does not seem to have dampened your spirit. I do not know, uh, I do not know if you are out of the woods, but I hope uh, to see Medicare stream alerts more often because these Ranbot ones are not an adequate replacement for mornings with Medicare. From RSK, I'm poor. From Anon, quote bucks for cigarettes. Uh, glad to hear you again. Hope to see you in the, or hear you in the future. Stay well, stay safe. Again, I'm just, I'm scrolling through, picking random ones, trying to hit everybody if I can. Uh, just Iron, no way. The man, the myth, the smoker. I hope you live long enough to laugh every once, uh, or everyone again. From Ralph G, love you, thanks for everything. From Shredmans, hey Jim, good to hear you. I have a question about something you covered in the past. There were these audio tapes of some insane gentleman from the 1940s. They went on these long, paranoid rants about all these people had done to him. Who was that? Are you talking about Francis, uh, oh my God, Francis Declan Esquire the third? Francis E. Declan Esquire. Do I need to have him drop the base? Chat, does, Fra does, does, does he need to drop the fucking base? Is the base getting dropped? See the skull. The part of bone removed. The master race Frankenstein radio controls. The brain thoughts broadcasting radio. The eyesight television. The Frankenstein earphone radio. The threshold brainwash radio. The latest new skull reforming to contain all Frankenstein controls. Even in thin skulls of white pedigree males. Visible Frankenstein controls. The synthetic nerve radio directional antenna loop. Make copies for yourself. There is no escape from from this worst gangster police state using all of the deadly gangster Frankenstein controls. In 1965, CIA gangster police beat me bloody, dragged me in chains from Kennedy New York Airport. Since then, I hide in forced jobless poverty, isolated, alone, in this low, deadly nigger town old house. The brazen, deadly gangster police and nigger puppet underlings spray me with poison nerve gas from automobile exhausts and even lawnmowers. Deadly assaults, even in my yard with knives, even bricks and stones, even deadly touch haven or electric shock flashlights, even remote electronically controlled around corners projection of deadly touch tarantula spiders, or even bloody murder accidents to shut me up forever with a sneak undetectable extermination, even with trained parody puppet assassins in maximum security insanity prison. <laughs> Not even alphabets. I believe that's who you're referring to, Super Chatter? Would that be the individual we're talking about? Uh, I don't know if you can even find the song. I found it on Odyssey. Somebody put a copy of this up on Odyssey. Now, maybe somebody can put a copy up on YouTube if they're brave or link it on social media. Uh, but it is straight fire. It is good shit. But yes, it's it's Frank uh, Francis. And uh, he has uh, quite a few videos out there of him going insane on YouTube. Uh, my favorite one is the one where he writes a letter to a judge. He writes a letter to a judge accusing his wife of uh, trying to get him to eat her pussy in the courtroom. And it's just the thought of an insane man writing that to a judge he's, you know, standing before uh, is the greatest shit on earth. From uh, Gerardo, get well, homie, I'll be praying for you. From uh, T-Man Arark, hey, Jim, I'm glad you're streaming again and hope you're getting better from your illness. I hope you have a wonderful night. From Beguile Me. You've been sorely missed throughout this insanity, continuing to pray for your health. You cannot leave us. From Deadweight Nero, innumerable curses upon the recipient of butt-blundering pirates in search of booty loaned. Uh, one. Nicholas J. Fuentes. Also, welcome back. Big Papa Jimothy. Also, a blessing to see that you're kicking. La Conja Rosa Pippa wants on, by the way. I wish I had seen that earlier. I would have brought them on. From Turkey Tom, take it easy. From Tommy Heimweger. Shout out to my brother, Caesar, who recently passed away in a car accident. We laughed so hard together watching your videos of old. I swear 500 pesos is more than 20 bucks. Stay afloat. Jim, I'm sorry to hear about your brother. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the videos. From Coila Dante, uh, mom found the Pippa puke drawer 
It's embarrassing. From Melee Games, going to need AI Jim to sing Christmas classics. I think they're up there, actually, already. From Spider God 99 good luck with the Cancer Aids, Jim. Here's a big Benjamin to help you. From SWM Mr. SW Mr. Plow, Rip Jimothy, gone too soon. From D Below, uh, God bless you, Jim. Postponed date to watch this. Hope to go, or hope this goes to some good Chinese gutter steel railings. We love you. Only the finest gutter steel railings I can buy. From Cool Man 229 for the Cancer AIDS funds. Keep on trucking. From Tiger Notch VT. Glad you're healthy enough to stream. Also, please play AI Medicare sings Pippa the Ripper. <laughs> I think I've tortured people enough with Pippa Pipkin songs. I think I think I've I've tortured you enough with those. From Koi Ladante. You can't fool us, Jim. AI voice. Yeah, right. We all know that's Medicare was a 15-year-old op to launch your singing career. Of course it was. A. Warren Johnson. Play Sparky's Tech Corner. Welcome to the internet. Uh, Flying Scoots. Holy F, you're back. From HHH. Uh, -H -H, Godspeed, Jimbo. AI yeah, Garbage. Gave me a little heart. Oh, AI yeah, Garbage. Uh, enjoyed this. We listened to the songs earlier. From a Josh. Your bully cabal is going to miss you, Jimberly. Not as much as they're going to miss these quality hats. Buy now. Limited time only, folks. I should hire you as a salesman. It was, this, it was a very good pitch. All right, we've got a few more here. Well, I mean, there's there's a lot more. I'm, I'm trying to hit some. Like I said, I'm going to wrap it up. I'll read like 10 more, and then uh, I'm going to jump. Not, you know, actually jump off something. I'm too crippled to do that now. But uh, jump, jump off the stream. From the Clam Slam, for my favorite money whore, uh, Nitrum10, a plumber of, <laughs> I can't say that word, Francis E. Declan Esquire, Official Jackie Chan adventure. Cough, 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 cough. Read weather, read weather, read the weather. I think somebody wants me to read the weather. The Sideshow Man 212. Probably won't be on to hear you read this, but here's 20. Good luck, and I hope you manage to beat your rectal cancer. Well, you know, I shouldn't have stuffed so much stuff up there, but now I'm paying the price. From late Fraser, just want to give you something for all the white noise you've given. Recently watched your furry cleanser. Do you have another video to maniacally laugh at? Uh, well, there is an archive up on BitChute of all my old videos if you want to watch them. And all the Odyssey streams are still over on Odyssey. And I think people mirrored most of the videos. Aside from that, you could watch AI stuff, which they'll probably start doing videos soon. Sparky's Tech Corner. I don't be Rama Rama AI of you on my channel. Uh, it's all cringe. Oh, you have that? You actually have that. Now I have to check it out. Okay, let me see. Oh, you actually is this is well, let's let's listen to it. You know what? I'll use that as a closer. Maybe it's terrible. It could be terrible. If it's terrible, we're all gonna laugh at you. Well well I'll laugh at me because it's my stupid fucking voice doing it. But we'll close out with that. AI Rama Rama. From Major Bear 640, Jim, I bought a beanie for my wife and myself, a Halloween shirt. Convince me to get a bully brigade shirt. Well, you know what? <laughs> I can't bully you into doing it. I need good karma now. All right? Or something else is going to fall off of me. I don't know what. Like, I at this point, I can't afford to lose more organs or limbs. From Liren, uh, I think you meant to say best wishes to you and Jade, but it, it's, <laughs> you wrote beat wishes to you and Jade. Beat her. Jim, beat her. Uh, from Honky McGee, Good to see you again, Jimbo. I thought for sure you'd ride off into the sunset after December. Is this a one-off thing? Yes, it is. Still smoking, joking, I see. See you, Space Cowboy. And from Iron Wolf Spear, Baraka has been cornholing people since 2016. I love you, Mandar. Chris, thanks for the content. Let's do a couple more and then close it out. Uh, from no one, thanks for all the laughs, Jim. Get better. Jacob Grissom, or Grimson. Uh, love you, big guy. Well, thank you for all the well wishes and... Uh, uh, happy support uh, people have uh, given. Very nice of you all. Now, we've got a Rama Rama song here. Oh, somebody did throw one big one in, so I'll, I'll do it. Uh, Sarcastic Madman. Here's 100 for you to play the uh, Medicare Pippa the Ripper. See, now, I would have done that, but we found an actual fucking Rama Rama. And how can I not close it out on fucking Rama Rama? I have to do it. So we'll close out on Rama Rama. Thank you, everyone, for coming, sticking around for Super Chats. I hope uh, 2023 treats you better than it's treated me. 
and uh, your body parts don't keep exploding. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All my jokes are coming back to haunt me now. As I've come back now eight months later to haunt you for this end of August stream. Enjoy the sector as it lasts. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I think AF needs to come out of the closet. I think, Ralph, please stay away from poetry. It's not your strong suit. Kino Casino will probably be at 4,500 subs and buying a mansion by the end of the year. <laughs> I'm going to guess. Uh, Jaden. Uh, Jaden's out there curb stomping people. Uh, laughing at AF. Uh, you know, uh, uh, RPG. Uh, you can you can still come back, man. You can still come back. You don't have to sell D Disney figurines. You don't have to like anybody. You could you could be your own team. No Disney figurines. And of course, to the mysterious disappearance of Bibble, we don't know where the fuck you went. But um, I guess you're playing D and D by yourself because nobody cares. And Marsh, I hope you're. You get over your anger issues at not being able to fully masturbate with those little itty bitty T Rex arms. I know it's tough. It's tough. All right, let's let's grab a a Rama Rama here. Let me. Uh, we're done with we're done with super chats. Let me just uh, change this to good night chat. Uh, this this is a, another AI channel. I don't know if the song's good. I think everybody's using the same... Is there like a bot somebody made out there? I don't know where everybody's getting the bot. I'll be honest. If they're all making them independently, that's remarkable. But is there like a central website? Did somebody just throw this shit up there? Again, karma comes back to you. I made fun of... Um, oh, who is the fucking psychologist hooked on the Zanny Berries who sold rugs for $3,000? Or Jordan Peterson. I used his AI bot to make uh, memes. And now it's come back to haunt me. All right, let's check out Rama Rama. So, chat, I hear you guys want me to cover Don't Be Rama Rama. I can't do that. Wait, the original says he is surprised I haven't. Well, this is going to be more cringe than watching Ralph huffing farts from Faith's ass. I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> Holy shit! Brothers, sisters, don't mind me, la handy, la handy, la. My friend, could we stand together? Look at us, we can't sleep forever. Show me sister, show me brother. What hell is this wrong for one another? Come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah! Come on, come on. Love your friends, protect your family. They are with you when you are lonely. Don't want it, don't want it. When you strong, you rage with the fear. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. We got the leaders of the violence. You don't see specials, but I can't keep up the picture. I'll see you in the morning. 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 I'll see you in the morning.